Can't believe it. You know, he's had me wait here for like three hours. He just... <laughs> like... <laughs> He just invites me and it's not an issue, huh? They're like, oh, sure. Have. Ha They're like, take the orders of the customers who are coming through. I don't need to serve them. Have the diner waitress come and do it. You know, it's not like I run a boy either. You know, it's fine. You know, it's totally fine. I mean, Taka. 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 Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. It's it did a really stressful day for me. You know, I I got a lot going on, and I'm just trying my best. You know, I just I sorry. I got I got. Don't don't worry. I got drinks though. You know, I know why. I got the drinks. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the Weary One Hundred One. I'm just a little guy talker, and I'm joined by a big girl. I'm joined. <laughs> I'm talking about your personality. Very large. I uh, I am joined by one Listen. personality. Taka, excuse you. I last I checked, I definitely have two big personalities. So I really don't appreciate just acknowledging one. They get jealous. I, I'm, I'm, so I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Your personalities are Thank fair you. for your body type. Thank you. I your ass that. is fat though. So, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I brought blue and red, everybody, and I got drinks. Hi, everybody. I'm Takahata One Hundred One, and this is the Weary One Hundred One. And welcome, everybody, to Friday night at the Weary 101. Yay. That's our stream, everybody. Talk to you later. No, no, I'm serious. We're still here. We're still here. We're going to be here for a bit, actually. But no, as you can tell, I got a, recently got a new birthday model, and I love it so much that I will be streaming as it for a very long time. Mm. Mm -hmm. it, mm. it, it, I think it's like a glow up. I, think, I would consider it a glow up. Shmo it's a glow up. Well, it's a, it's, it's a step in the right direction. It's a step in the right direction, yeah. I think. It's and real quick, I actually got to turn off like something it. here real quick. I got to turn off my view rewards because I actually have questions that could be redeemed, and I'm not about to subject us to that. <laughs> what if they ask oh. something terrible? Like, why, why are you so It all started cringe? when I was four year old. What? Wait, what? what? Well, I can maybe set it, but I'm just going to change it to like the <laughs> cooldown timer is like five minutes. That seems more <laughs> fair for how much we run on run sentences here. Who's hotter, Miss Lala or Camry? It's really like. Like, I mean, I'll answer that question. I mean, I'll answer that question. I mean, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Are you oh, why it's Kim? Kim, I please, please, please. <laughs> I mean, uh, why? Is, I what? Sorry, it's me. I'm hotter. <laughs> That's right, everybody. You had to. You had to here we go. Okay, I gotta thank a couple people real quick here, Lala, because okay. J Mike one hundred one. Thank you so much. Great number. Love your name, Old Wolf Logan. I haven't seen your movie yet. I'm joking. I've seen Logan. Uh, Emmy Gardana. Thank you so much for this gifting a sub to Miss Lala. That's 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 faith. That's love. And Gizmo mm -hmm. Legends. Thank you for resubscribing for three months. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Stay amazing. You bet your sweet cheeks, and we're gonna stay amazing. Hotter, but only as a little guy. Hey. It's because you could pick me up and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> everything else is more. everything else is the same. Just my height's the only thing that's changed. Don't don't I, you know? I respect you as a person, but I I do uh, ooh, have but, to admit, ooh but there uh, there is the a but, but after that there is a but <laughs> where there I there is an intrusive thought where I do want to pick you up and just like shake you around like like a fucking build a bear that's and abuse. then like, put you back. <laughs> that's abuse. That's, no, that's friendship. Like that's I just, abuse. I just, I'm appreciating just how adorable you are. That's all. It's just you know I just want to like rattle you around and just see like your little limbs fly around. It's fine. It, what? That's it's respectful behavior. In what <laughs> way is that respectful? I think isn't that what people? Yeah, no, it's it, it's very no! respectful. Yeah, I no! think you like to be stuffed animal. It's fine. It's it's. <laughs> Look, listen, if I was a stuffed people, animal, I mean, listen. There's one reason why people have why why adult women have stuffed animals. It's they have something to hold on to when they need help in an emotional moment. It's true. Mm, 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 it's true. Mm. Which is why sometimes I also grab my personalities as a substitute if I don't have a stuffed animal nearby. Listen, very, this is not a rated stream. You me. can't say that, Miss Lala. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Lala, you've gone too far this time. Mm. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I realized, yes, 
I can't. Adorable. It's okay, Queen. I feel you on that. You feel what she's. You feel her her personality, Adora Bunny. You gotta ask nicely. <laughs> what? What are you doing? <laughs> what? I you, you said that I should be doing it. I got all anxious and nervous. Everyone, right? everyone, everyone, this, this, this is, oh, sorry, that's my drink. You want blue? <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. I was actually very thirsty. I appreciate it. Okay, that. good. Thank I was you. worried. I was worried. You need this blue. All right, there we go. <laughs> you have a sip there. There we go. Good. I can't put it in front of you because of layers, but you know, it's implied. <laughs> right here, but everybody, right here. A bad influence right here, folks. That's a bad influence. <laughs> I, 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 I don't, I, I don't, I don't consider myself a bad influence. I'm just a helpful, kind, uh, what you did, influence. You, yeah. you did have that really, like really successful charity stream you did. Oh, that's very sweet. That's you, you very know, sweet. we got to talk that's about sweet. it real quick here because you got oh, to talk okay. about what you did recently. And oh. I know it's like, what's your stream? I'm like, yeah, let's talk about what you did because you, oh, how many, how many thousands of dollar dues did you make? Uh, I didn't make any. Uh, it was all, it was like 4,000. Uh, four thousand forty-five dollars for the Sato Project. So that Which, was and that is for uh, the Sato Project is a nonprofit that is about um, helping abandoned uh, uh, abandoned dogs in Puerto Rico, rehabilitating them, and also like spaying, neutering them to help with the uh, stray dog crisis in Puerto Rico. And mm. so they actually the person who because it's a very small grassroots nonprofit, mm. and so the person who ran it. Um, actually sent me an email yesterday um personally thanking and wrote this really long email about how much that like money is helping their organization and so uh that was really incredible so well, i would so imagine just like part of that. Yeah. the amount of fees they have to just like because honestly it's like mm -hmm. a lot of people are volunteering but it's still like cost of housing the animals is like you still have to pay for rent and shit and and vet costs and all this stuff like oh, operational costs they're probably doing like it so at a, rede a reduced rate but it's still like it's not free mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, so can, I'm yeah. really happy so you got that you, personal Taka. message. Hey, yeah. no worries. I did, you know, and by the way, so we actually got 500 bits. Hey, yeah. Heck from yeah. From Mr. Autobot 390. And you know what? How is it going to talk? Can I get a glass of blue by any chance? Okay, here you go. Here you, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking look when you move. It just makes me laugh. <laughs> Whoa, it's gone. It's out of here, folks. Oh, damn. Just disappeared into the wall like a spooky ghost from The Haunting. <laughs> deep pull, deep pull, I know. And by the way, chat, do you want some red? Want that red? Want red? <laughs> Tupac Momochi gifting it to, with 27 months of support. Thank you so much. Let's go. Absolutely. I got to take a moment here in between all this kindness that's, that's raining on down here in the stream. I have to talk about because I actually, everybody, I met Miss Lala in person. It's true. I know. It's I true. can't believe I'm not I a know. figment of Outside. your imagination. That's right. My, I just walked up my little guy. I'm like, hello there, Miss Lala. How's it going? <laughs> but and no, I, I actually... looked down at him the entire time. Yeah, you did. And I just look up. <laughs> it was like this. Just like that. <laughs> the claw. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, I, I, so we decided to meet up for food when I was visiting where she lived. And mm -hmm. I don't want to dox you. Okay. And um, she she invited me to get food at this diner. Now, I was aware of the diner, but I didn't realize what diner it was till I got there. It was a 50s-themed diner. That's right, everybody. I met Miss Lala in a 50s-themed diner. Yeah, when you're gonna attack so somebody, on brand. you want to make sure they're on your turf. I mean, what? So on brand. So is, was that a power play by you, by the way? What? No, absolutely not. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. I would never do that to somebody that... else meeting for the first time. Do Why you have like do that? What? Do you do you have like additional resistances when you like when you're in those places? Be like, you now have a boost. You now have a boost <laughs> to your your butt is more now more like stronger to handle all the butt slapping that happened in the 50s <laughs> <laughs> how does that work exactly it is now it my my ass is now no longer flesh it is just full on type a grade a type made out of pure adamantium <laughs> yeah adamantium adamantium, adamantium. yeah <laughs> adamantium. <laughs> chat you want some you want some you want some red okay <laughs> every time you pop it up adamantium. i just like they're like i, I think they're thirsty so you, you thirsty yeah just get a sip there 
Everyone's drinking. Everyone's yeah. drinking. <laughs> drinking in a bar? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Somehow this inappropriate stuff is happening, but I love that I can just do this. Hmm. It's just crazy. What to do? I know. Drinks for everyone! <laughs> mm. No, I appreciate it, Saka, but I'm a gal who likes to bring her own, so thanks. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. But we had a good meal, and we hung out, and we told... Oh, oh, I see you're drinking some new Coca-Cola. Yes. Uh, I, I was in the middle of pouring it down my shirt, apparently, but hold on. <laughs> Watch out. Amazon or Bethesda will sue you because they own that intellectual property. You know what's really funny about that? Uh, yeah. I was like, uh, can I have permission to drink your new Coca-Cola? And they're like, go ahead, queen. So, uh, what? No knocking down on my They called you queen so and everything? Nice. Man, that's a, that's a sign of respect. They said it in capital letters with five exclamation points. So... Did they space out queen with like a space in between each letter? They did, and they oh. capitalized in lowercase the Q, the U, the E, the E, and the N, and they added little squiggly lines too. It was amazing. I was very wow. That's was, that's a yes. That is a sign of respect. Yeah, yeah, respect. Uh, replay, Rick. Could I have one red, please? That's a red for you. That's yours. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. See, she, 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 there we go. Now he's no longer thirsty, and that's I good. I need to stop giggling. That's so funny to me, just visually. Who wants this taco as well? No, no one wants taco? Okay, okay, fine. But Taco? Okay. I chose to keep I chose to keep my taco hidden, hidden underneath my skirt, Taka, because you said this was a family-friendly stream. You want some blue? Want some blue for you? I, I don't know what to say. It's not even, you know, I got to agree with the door bunny. It's not even Taco Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good night, everybody. Great. Ah! <laughs> Ginger Ale Pale has a, has a very important message to ask, by the way. A really important message. They're like, Taka, you have to know, in a dinner setting, Lala gets plus five to her, cha to her, cha to her chanclo range attacks. Normally, it's a plus two. I think is chank. Did you say that? Did you spell out chankla? Right? Is that the word? Was that a typo, or am I just ignorant? Do Do you know what it's? Chankla? La chankla. Oh, I'm an ignorant white guy. Sorry, my be. <laughs> What's la chankla? <laughs> do you do? You, would you like to learn about the chankla, Taka? I, I I would. I think I would. For fifteen hundred bits, I better learn because Ginger Ale Pal's like you ruined my joke, Taka. You better learn. I paid fifteen hundred bits for this joke, and you're stepping all over it. Can you have a pizza? I'll get you a pizza while you explain to me what this is. Oh, God, fuck, you have the slipper. That's like plus 100 damage in the hands of someone of Latin descent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is, like Spider-Man said, with great power, or his uncle, whoever the fuck it was. With that great guy. Power comes <laughs> great power comes with great responsibility. And so I use mm. the power that my ancestors have bestowed upon me uh, in terms of wielding this slipper. It is also known as La Chancla, Taka, so you know about its power. But it's also known as the chunk. It is known. Chunk. All right. So, name. so is I, I, I didn't. There's a there's a Disney. What was that one Disney movie where they didn't talk about Bruno, but they made a whole song about him? <laughs> Encanto. <laughs> was that my favorite Encanto. part of the Disney? My favorite part of the Disney movie is where the old person admits they were wrong. I love fantasy. <laughs> I love fantasy plots. I love it. <laughs> Encanto. I've never seen Encanto, so I'm sorry that this isn't resonating with me. But by the way, War Dog Leader, I got you your pizza. Oh, I didn't do it right. But I got you your pizza. Pizza. Got you your pizza. Now I got to thank Jerry66. Holy crap. Gifting 10 gifted subs. Let's oh, my God. Let's go. Let's you know what that go. means? You know what that means? You get... The fancy drink. Hold on, I'm just going to hand it off to you. Ah, ah. There you are. You get this. You get this, Jerry. You get this, Jerry. You get the honey. You get the honey uh, lemon. Th 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 thank you, my Bob. It's yours. Okay, have a, here we go. Here we go. Okay, there we go. It's yours. That's yours. <laughs> That's good. Look at that. Fancy old-fashioned. Ooh, fancy old-fashioned. A, a fancy old-fashioned. Speaking of old-fashioned, that's Ooh, your gimmick, yeah. right? <gasps> I'm not that old fashioned, Todd. No, not that old fashioned. No. Listen, yeah, like I like to, I, I, I can, I can vote. You know what I mean? Like I'm not that old fashioned. 
It's good. It, it, people talk about the good old days. Like, I like it when only half of us could vote. I'm like, well, that's odd thing to say. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure if you ask them, they would disagree. <laughs> Listen, it's all about vintage style, not vintage values. Okay. Nah. I, I do like to say we that. We miss the 50s aesthetic. We miss that. Oh, yeah. We love that. We don't like anything. We else. want we malt shops. Malt. Although I will say the one there is one 50s tradition that I really do like, and I'm trying to get people to, okay, to kind okay. of readapt it. Sell okay. me on it. Upsell me on okay. this, ye old. Okay. Have you heard of what Tupperware parties are? Oh, yes, I know what a Tupperware party is. Okay, great. So I want to bring back Tupperware parties. You know, everyone complains Whoa. about networking no, in my... the VTuber space. Hold on, Taka. I think you could really sign on for this. I And actually, okay. maybe you can help. You can maybe help me spread the word. Everybody brings their choice of Tupperware. You look at it. You swap lids. And then whoever you swap the lid with, you go home with. It's very easy to network. Get to know new new people. Just wrap your shit with Saran Wrap and call it a day. It's not that that complicated. That that sounds like a swingers party. It's called a Tupperware party, Taka. Are are you sure that's what you mean? Or is it like instead of like Tupperware, you mean keys? It's the same thing. Keys was in the 70s. Tupperware is in the 50s. Right, right. I forgot. That was a 70s <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 70s. But they 70s, also had Tupperware. Yeah. I thought I thought Tupperware parties were like code in the 70s for swingers parties. <laughs> taka, Taka, do you think we can't, we can't tell them? I got Tupperware. Do. Take a look. I got my I got my gamer subs, which you, you can get here at the bar. Code W101. Would you like the big would you like the big the big gamer subs? Yeah? I'm a married woman, Taka. What do you mean you're offering your Get your head back, fantasy? baby. <laughs> Open your mouth. <laughs> Fine, chat. Tilt your mouth back, baby. Open your mouth. <laughs> ah, you thirsty bitches. You thirsty bitches. All right, I'm just going to dump it out on you. Ah. I'm going to shower you in the sups. Can't. Yeah. How does it feel to be stepped on in that new model? I will not be stepped on. I will stand on with my new model, okay? Talk of ruining marriages. I haven't ruined a marriage in a while. I don't want to give it a direct amount of time. Time is really subjective, you know? What's a week to what? What is a week to uh, one person is like a day to another. <laughs> it's an amorphous concept. I thought twenty twenty taught us that. SD card, thank you so much. Got your shot on its way to you, and if need be, I got you blue. <laughs> Every time I lift it, it makes me laugh. It just. Well, yeah, that's what yeah, I keep on giggling because the model animations are so funny. Along with you bringing the clips. <laughs> if need be, I also got blood wine. Ah, oh, shit. You got blood. You dropped your blood wine. I have Mistress I, Kim Rye's. I have Mistress Kim Rye's blood wine. That's right, everybody. Mistress Kim Rye drinks Klingon drinks. Mm. Okay, so that okay, all right. I'm just making notes for the future. Not that I want to slide into her DMs, but she likes Klingon drinks. Okay. You'll slide into her DMs as more or less what? she puts a hex upon you. Okay, what can I mm. do to have her put hex on me permanently? I was uh. yeah. Wait, I, I, hey, 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 this is this is between me and my diary, Taka. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, okay I, I'm not, I, I, I'm just don't 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 be judging me in terms of who I choose to sell. Listen, my if you're like one of those people who just, I'm gonna go write my screenplay in this coffee shop, no one's allowed to look at it. Like, why the fuck are you doing it in public then? Like, we're all going to comment on it and be like, that's not a great way of writing. <laughs> it's my diary, Taka. You, you, can't, you can't tell me what to share. If I want to write publicly about I'm my sorry. adoration for Kim Wright, you let, better sorry. let me I'm, be. I just, you got you to gotta, you gotta know. For me, for me, there's just, she's just very powerful, okay? She's like, she's like six foot ten and like, like five foot five of that is just her fucking legs, okay? I, I know. I know, mm. Taka. She's bewitched me hard. She has legs that go so all the way up. Yeah. That's why. That's why I'm trying to be ankle length, so she can't. She, she can't just like scoop down and grab me. <laughs> 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 and I want to shade the Kai. Thank you so much for the prime sub. Appreciate you. Welcome to the bar. Would you like some blood? Blood. <laughs> Blue. Okay. <laughs> Every time it just puts a smile on my face. Blue. <laughs> Because <laughs> if I want to be like, I'm having a temper tantrum. Ah! 
<laughs> Don't worry. I'm, I, you know what? Have you, have you ever done cool. that in full I'm, weight? I'm going to keep it cool. I'm going to keep it cool. Oh, I think I have one of those. Hold on. I, yeah. I brought it. Yeah, I think. Hold on. Wait, where did they go? Hold on. I think I found them. You them. do? Oh, oh. oh, hold on. They're covered in peanuts or something. Hold on. I don't know what they're. I got to take them off for a second. Wait. No. Okay, okay. We've come to investigate your aliens in your metropolitan city. Here come the man in black. Yum, 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 yum. Flesh. What's going on there, Skip? Ah, <laughs> oh, a person smart and intelligent, and a group of people are dumb and stupid. I like aliens. That's good. They like you, too. Oh, they It's better. me, Tommy Lee Jones. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, Skip, how you doing? <laughs> My best impression of Tommy Lee Jones in that movie. <laughs> I'm over here being like, mm, how many, how many alien species can I get to know intimately? For science! For the human I'll give it time. Race. Give yeah. it time. You'll beat them. I'll, you'll I'll be beat amazed. Them or I'll beat them. You'll be amazed at how common interspecies dating is exactly like dating a human. It feels oh like goodness. sometimes you're dating someone from another goddamn planet, anyways. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're on different planets when it comes to what you want. This is true. Mm. But, it's, mm -mm. but do they have seven different tentacles and eight different colors? With pores all over them that I'd love to explore. That is the question, though. That's yeah, the only shit, you're going right in the deep end. We're just we're, we still have to just get to the amount of boobs they have. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. Sorry, I went, I went, I went straight to talking about their tentacles. I didn't even consider their boobs. You know, that was Listen, very hasty of me. I'm a normal man, like any other man. We want a three boobed lady. Yeah, just just three. Yeah, just no three? more. Not just no more than three. I get so thirsty though. No, that's why. <laughs> You got one for each hand and one for your mouth. Anyway, the point is, <laughs> I don't have extra hands, so what's the purpose of what do we need any more than that? <laughs> now, this is where I should pull out the little, like, like the defibrillator thing. <laughs> Forget the last little bit we talked about. <laughs> <laughs> the defibrillator pen? Oh, so the, the neuralizer. The neuralizer. neuralizer. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it was great. Or we could be, uh, we we were rejected from a Blues Brothers audition, alternatively. We're on a mission from God. <laughs> we're here to do one thing. Put a band back together that hates itself and be chased by Nazis. I hate Midwest Nazis. <laughs> we have a question here from Alec. Okay, you have a question? Alec, Al 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 we have a question incoming here. Yeah, okay. I have it on a five-minute cool down, which is the right amount of time. Okay, thank God it's not five minutes and one second. That's, like, way too long. Yeah, one every minute we can't keep up. <laughs> ah, shit, I can't keep up with that at all. Hold on. <laughs> mm. Alec. Alec. What's my favorite movie? Oh, I man, it's hard for me now because it used to be The Fifth Ooh, Element, but it might be Everything Everywhere All at Once. Ooh. That, well, that, that one jumped up my list here real too, fast, too. Really? So I, your favorite movie of all I can tell you, actually, a couple of my favorite movies. I like the South Park movie a lot. It's actually my favorite musical. Oh, that, that tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That tracks. Uh, Fifth Element or Everything Everywhere All at Once. And uh, I would say Hot Fuzz. Oh, Hot Fuzz is a great choice. Edgar mm. Wright, in general, is a wonderful filmmaker. Oh, I, 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 my mother is a retired police officer, so that movie hits different for me. <laughs> <laughs> Everything Everywhere is a fabulous movie, though. Oh, it's it to the so neurodivergent. Good. That is a sweet nectar. <laughs> a sweet nectar. We, sh dear, dear, dear Daniels, we would like you to know that us, us neurodivergent folk, we've cycled on your sweet filmmaking nectar that you've chosen to share with us. Thank you very much. And Thank we got you. some blue, and we have blue for you. Blue, blue. blue? <laughs> the best flavor is blue. Dante DMC thirty with a fifty-two months of support. Goddamn! Thank you so much. A nice new look, Taka. Thanks. Yeah. I'm schmoovin. Moving. Now, I also want to thank Shameless Pond for the raid. Welcome, everybody, to the bar. Welcome. Yeah. My name is Takahata 101, and I am joined by none other than Miss Lala. Oh, every, literally everything ever at once had a rare distinction because it's a movie that made me laugh and cry, and I'm not even a family guy. Mm. No, literally, at the, the end of the movie, for the final climax of the movie, I was crying, mm. and then I was laughing. 
And then I was crying what? again. And then I was laughing. And it was like I was up against the ropes being haymakered by two different emotions. And I was like flabbergasted. Mm. It also helped that I took a fuck ton of edibles before I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> you ever just start openly weeping watching a movie? I've never openly started weeping watching a movie. And it's, it's why like when everyone was like, oh, it's overrated. I'm just like, not to the neurodivergent. No, not at all. Oh, Taka, you're as if I've openly wept at a movie. I've open. I literally was just talking about this early today. I've openly wept during like Fast and the Furious because Dominic Toretto going what? on a speech about fucking family. I'm just like, that's right. Family is the most important thing. The, 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 that's the, right. And racing, you know, the most important race in our lives is the one in our hearts that connects us to our family. Oh. You want to hear my? So you want to hear? You want to hear my Dominic Toretto impression? I can do one. What? Pretend I am Dominic Toretto fixing my car, and you have to give me a. And you, you, you got a, you got a mission. You got to give me. All right, now okay. scene. Okay. <laughs> you walk in. You're like a badass FBI, Dominic Toretto. We need you to get the shipment of you know, and but be fast doing it. <laughs> You have to approach me. I'm too cool. Oh. I'm Donna Toretto. I won't be, oh, I won't I'm start the conversation. You. I'm approaching you? Oh, okay, You're approaching okay. me. I'm oh, Dominic Toretto on, on, on. in this. All right, here we go. Okay, okay. sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, I'm a, uh, I'm a fancy F F F B I, and I'm here. Mr. Dominic Toretto uh, person, uh, I need you to help me find these 17 cats that were locked in these 18 Lamborghinis. Uh, we need you to fetch them for us. How can you help us in these trying times, Mr. Toretto? Also, there is hot babes and much honor upon your family. Also, you get to punch Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> oh, race? 17 cats? I think I can make that work. <laughs> Is that good? Is that is that was that a good Vin Diesel, everybody? <laughs> well, if that's what you want, man. Sometimes family's just like that. <laughs> yeah, family. Sometimes they die. It's happening again. I told you, Taka. Every time you do it, I just get very emotional about it. I can't play so. It is still. Even though I try and get out of the game, I'm still in it. They kidnapped my wife that I didn't marry. <laughs> they Believe kidnapped my kid. <laughs> I like how it's just like them. one of the directors, like I, what, the new director's like, I'm not opposed to going to space. And I'm like, geez, <laughs> man, I don't know what to think anymore. <laughs> At this point, just merge it over with another popular IP and just like mm. continue going for like three more sequels. <laughs> well, yeah, I would. Are, are you kidding me? I would die if there was like a Spider-Man. I literally, literally, I would be like, okay, we're gonna be merging the worlds with John Wick in it. I'm like, okay, <laughs> go for it, just go for it. I don't. John's dead, or is he? Or is he? He's dead until such time as they give him an ungodly amount of money <laughs> <laughs> to train, because that's what he's really doing. He's like, he's, they're spending money for it just to spend. Hey, hey um, Keanu, do you want to go train for three months? Yeah. <laughs> so, he's gonna be busy really busy recording like 10 oh my god king meg art king meg raid you ain't ready uh, you think i'm not ready you think i'm not ready well guess what i'm ready because i own two things family and drinks drink 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 welcome to the bar boom baby welcome to the bar boom baby welcome to the bar boom baby welcome to the bar oh yeah ah, welcome to the bar okay hi that was a that was a 50s bop that i changed for the purposes of this hi there i'm takahata 101 i'm just a little guy and i'm joined by miss lala we're talking right now about family Family. 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 King Mega, I saw Miss Lala and Takahata in the same stream, and I knew I had to get in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, family. Yeah. <laughs> Business owner, family. <laughs> mm. Hold on one second. I gotta put on my. I gotta put on my full. My full drip. Your full drip. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I had to do it. Welcome, everybody. Welcome on the bouncer. Can I come in? All right. Okay. Okay. All right. This right here. You go in here over the left. Thank you very much. Over the left there. Yeah. 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 I'm in charge. This is my domain. <laughs> I am T posing on all of you. All of you are being T posed on. I'm really appreciating. Uh, I'm really appreciating Taka and his Napoleon era. You know, tiny fella, big personality. Exactly. I. <laughs> they're not even aware of my J's. <gasps> oh my God! He can go to space on that. How many planets you walked on with those things, huh? Just the most important one, the one I'm on. Oh, God. It's mm -hmm. like <laughs> oh, my God. I, I didn't turn my music back on for the bit. I'm so sorry, everybody. It's music's back, though. Music's back. <laughs> no, now I. But welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Mm. I had to do it to him. I did. I did. Mm. You did. Mm -hmm. But no. It's great having the wonderful Miss Lala back in the bar. It's always an absolute treat chatting with you about many things. We have a question here from Masaki Ooh. Kagura. And Ooh. I just want to make sure. Uh, I'm seeing the, the the question being asked, and they haven't posted it yet. I, I'm like zeroing in on it because it, they like they redeem it, and then they have to ask it. Uh, can I can I mention the movie that I think is thoroughly underrated, and I think should belong in the Criterion Collection? Yes. Um, it has an Academy Award winning actress in it. Okay. 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 You with me? Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Underappreciated. Chihuahua. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. Chihuahua. Chihuahua. Dun, dun. Oh, oh, Chihuahua. Chihuahua. Mm. <laughs> Jamie Lee I... Curtis, Academy Award winning actress. Oh, hey, Chloe. I'll have you know the Borderlands movie has multiple Academy Award winners in it. What does that really say about it? <laughs> Don't do not put. Hey, hey, hey! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! No, no, no! no you are not putting Borderlands in the same conversation as Beverly Hills Chihuahua and putting that movie down, okay? A no, because it. the difference okay. is Beverly Hills Chihuahua has an actual like strong narrative. Yes. It, 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 <laughs> oh, oh, exactly, exactly. Okay, you're redeemed. You're redeemed. Okay, I didn't need to deploy. Could Kevin Hart play the Chihuahua? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was George Lopez played the Chihuahua. George Lopez was the Chihuahua. Was he the voice of the Chihuahua in that <laughs> movie? He was. He really sincerely was. <laughs> Listen, he, he knew he was done in Hollywood. He's just trying to get some bank on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I, so must... I, I watch it like every year for my birthday. So yeah. Oh, it's one of those. I, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, we actually these. got asked a question though. By okay, Masaki yeah, yeah. Kagura, they okay, like I, Taka. How about a fifties uh, uh, like spiff up? How about you like spruce up the bar and make it more fifties themed? You know, I was thinking about getting a jukebox in here. Ooh. I do like jukeboxes. I like those are like really those were really fun because it was also such a show of it like activating everything. That mm -hmm. was half the fun of them was just like <laughs> just like spinning the disc like they'll do like a little flip on the fancy ones like oh man it's got like a spin on it put on a little bit of a show. <laughs> so break and then the music and comes on and it's like don't break my heart my I can't break a heart my blah 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 I left you break my heart. My echo breaking heart, but da, da, da. I don't know the lyrics. So <laughs> I remember that hit. That was perfect. You did it Bop. like you did it like perfectly. That was an amazing cover. That was, a, that was a, thank you. That was incredible. Truly, truly. <gasps> Surf and bird. Oh, well, everybody knows about the bird, about the bird, bird, bird. But bird's the word, I a bird, bird, bird. But bird's the word, I a don't you know about the word? Oh, everybody knows that the bird is the word, I a bird, bird. But birds are where I went a bird surfing bird. Six, 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 time the devil. I did the devil. <laughs> you made me bring out my burp costume. You say three times, I, it's I, like Bloody I, Mary. I'm about to say, you know, I gotta say that outfit. No one has to say about your outfit there. What? It's coo. <laughs> It sure is cool. It sure is cool. It sure is cool. It's it's cool. Are you a pigeon? I am a pigeon. I am a pigeon. And uh, I also I am also equipped with a weapon in this costume too. Taka. Weapons? Yes. Do you have a hidden weapon style with this outfit? I do. Would you like what? to see it? I'm scared. Chat, be quiet. Oh my god. 
I forgot you have the power of the three D. Oh my god. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> <laughs> Ass. Ass. <laughs> Good cheat. Listen for 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 a pigeon that butters everything. Ooh. That poop is actually uh, acidic, so it can prick up your car and uh, and just ruin your day. So yeah. Mm. It's what I imagined. I, I I just every now and then I see the pigeons. I'm just like you know, the second they take off, they're gonna poop. <laughs> and like a well, mass splatter. Know. It's not like they make little bird pointer potties. Where are they gonna go? People are like, people complain all the time about where birds shit, and they're like, oh, I can't believe they shit on top of my car, on my head, on this building. It's like, well, I don't see you making. Well, I, I feel any like people are allowed to complain about a bird shitting birds. on their fucking head. <laughs> well, it's good luck. They should be honored that we chose your head. Okay. It's not that... Wait, you, you speak for the birds? I do speak for the birds. This whole stream is for the birds, I feel like. Yes, yes, yes. That's enough yes. out of you, chat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the follows and the bits, everybody. Yeah. It's been great so far. It's always great having Miss Lala here in the bar. Mm. And I know when I got back, I'm like, I want to have Lala swing by. I just want to chat with yeah. her mm. about about a million things because we can't even talk about... like Because you haven't talked about what your favorite movies were. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, my God. Uh, uh, um, yeah. I do consider Bedley Hill Shalala is one of them. Uh, I do like, ooh, it's so tough. Because I feel like whenever somebody's like, what's your favorite movie? I was like, well, here's a movie that inspired me to do what I want to do in life. Here's this other movie that I just find super cozy and I can watch a million times. Uh, here's it's like, a there's like a movie you know, know is good that you love, and then there's a movie you know is shit and you love. It's like it's like almost like a yeah. scale. That's true. That's true. Well, you said yeah. a, you said a great movie that you love because everything everywhere is such a mastery in filmmaking too. So. Some people think it's like overhyped, and I'm just like, no, it's what? like literally, um, it's like a low budget special too, and that's how yeah. good it is. Yeah, it's so good. It's such a great martial movie. arts sci fi trance movie, and they're like, what? Mm -hmm. That basically uses all those things that basically just carries a narrative about the relationship between a mother and daughter. That's... It's so many things at once. Yeah, it's, yeah. Because um, it's, it's so like that's good. like a ma that's like a mother daughter relationship. It's being a child of an immigrant. That's mm -hmm. another big one mm -hmm. that a Marriage. lot of people can understand. Being uh, undiagnosed or divergent and never being satisfied with how things are, mm -hmm. and in particular that part of the story got to me to the point where I was crying mm -hmm. because she was starting to see other different lives she could have. It was making her dislike the life she had. And that is something that only supremely neurodivergent people understand, which is just because we don't make a decision, we still imagine what that decision would be. And we keep thinking about it in real time. Like it's another timeline in our life. And we mm -hmm. have the regret It's ADHD regret. Mm -hmm. And it can be very that. infectious and they can cause depression and anxiety. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dan mm -hmm. six, Five two thousand and five. Gasp! It's her, the Fallout VTuber, who has been haunting my YouTube shorts. Are you haunting people's shorts? Oh yes, I am. Do I need to change? Does that make everybody more comfortable? Is the no, 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 no. Oh, okay. This is just a this okay. is just a pigeon. Everybody, it flew in. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is I. I have no idea. Who, I I don't know her. Who's a Miss Lala? She sounds she sounds like a bitch. I Miss Lala. Her. Miss Lala. Ah, who's her? It's Miss ah. Lala. It's like it's Lady Gaga. <laughs> from you know the Harley Quinn, it's Miss Lala. <laughs> you with your eyes open. Lala. <laughs> uh, I'm trying. Oh my God, there's. So Ooh la la. Oh, I mean, uh, have you been picking at my pinup saga? How do you your, know your about pinups? What? I mean, look at your pinups. You have pinups? What? You got the pups? I, I, oh, I do have a pup. I do have a pup. His name is Gumbeat. Gumby? Gumbeat, yeah. Gumby, Gumbeat? Gumbeat, yeah. The incredible super pup. Yeah. I That's see. Yes. How old are they again? Uh, They turn 11 this month. Oh, oh okay. Oh, yeah. He's 11 years young. Yeah. Still a puppy. Yeah, he's still a puppy. All dogs are puppies forever. Forever. Mm. Yeah. He's 20 pounds of puppy. Schizo Dan. Yeah. I don't know. They had no sound effect. They just had like a drink. Skull. <laughs> Skull. So you made the sound effect. A ah! stone shears. <laughs> ah! I just saw Skitto. I'm like, ah! I'm like, all right. <laughs> cheers. Uh, cheers to you as well. Cheers to you as well. Oh, yeah, oh my cheers, goodness. I got to get cheers. some drinks here, though, for people. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. Well, I am uh, running a bar, uh, technically, you know? Like, it's. Yeah, yeah. 
Cheers. Oh, it's, it, part, it's part of the bit. Pizza? Hand. No, we already have pizza, so that's already been taken care of. <laughs> got, you, you got pizza and drinks over here? Ah! Look, you can't even see my drink anymore. <laughs> All right, one second here. They just... He's gonna he's gonna shotgun that drink. Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah. yeah. All right. Who got some drinks? Oh man, I fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> drink, son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm trying to do this bit here, and they're just like, nah. <laughs> All right, here we go. He's drink, to motherfucker. <laughs> Fine, I just have to set it up here. Now I gotta do my bit live on stream, which ruins the bit. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Just fucking... All right, there we go. There we all rigged now. Now, there we go. Now, pretend I didn't do that, okay? Oh pretend God. I didn't do that. All right, now just let me just. All right, there we go. All right, who needs some <laughs> drinks? See, there we go. That was my bit I wanted to do. But no, it wouldn't let me have it. You were just practicing. You delivered it flawlessly. Nobody knows what you're talking about. Nobody was paying attention. You're fine. I, oh, man, I really hope they are. It's my stream. That's how I make my money. <laughs> <laughs> please. Please? B -b 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 please? Like Piglet. You know? <laughs> please. Please hang out with Chocolate and his bar. This is just a small little upcoming business. He's just I'm a just little a guy. Li I'm just a little guy. I'm just a little guy just who little has guy. crippling anxiety. This little guy who can bring anxiety. Do you I, know, I, just for one view today, you can make him feel like a million, a million quarters. For one quarter a day, you can keep. <laughs> well, no, that won't actually pay for much in Western society. But like a quarter would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Strip the chimkin, gigantifying their chimkin emote. <laughs> And we're joined by my wonderful mod, Yakuniku Party. Hello, Hi. Yaki. How you doing? Hello. My Hello. goodness. Ah, uh, so yeah. Oh, so yeah. I'm trying to work, work my, my, little, my, my little spaghetti arms and spaghetti legs with working out because in my current form, I but may what not kind? be. What? Like, what kind? You said spaghetti. Like, do you like bolognese, puttanesca, alfredo, carbonara? Like, what kind of spaghetti? What? Which one's basic, bitch? You're like joint all because I'm that like 80% basic bitch and the other 20% psycho bitch. <laughs> you said basic bitch 20%, 80% psycho bitch. Yeah, that's okay, me. that's fair. That's a fair. Okay, okay. I that's thought it was me. the other way around. I was like, that's Yeah, me. I see. I feel like it would be 80% psycho bitch. <laughs> yeah, is it or fettuccine? Is it angel hair? Which are without meatballs, though. Oh, don't worry. There's always two meatballs. <laughs> unless unless all my stress causes that to go away. The shrinkage problem. All I can say, there's a line in Deadpool and Wolverine, and I'm not going to say when. I'm not going to say where it is. But it's like, ah, yeah. Gen Z and your trauma breaking. Can't you just push it down and make it accomplishments or cancer like the rest of us? <laughs> <laughs> and I... I remember hearing that and went like, fuck me. The writer was probably very satisfied with themselves when they wrote that. <laughs> with a character like Deadpool, you could say so many things. And it, obviously, it's a vehicle for the voice for the filmmaker. But because it's Deadpool, yeah. people be like, oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, Deadpool. You can pair him so up with any. You can pair him up with anybody in his money concept. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's why, like, they're already like, well, Deadpool and Wolverine is now the highest grossing rated R film of all time. That's so amazing. Disney's already like, let's make another. And you know, I'm like, yeah, why not? Like, what? Yeah. I'm down. I was like, oh, we'll ruin, the, we'll ruin this. I'm like, no, it won't. I want more stupid bullshit adventures with these characters. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a fuck. Like, what about the, like, but, like he retired after playing Logan. It was a beautiful send-off for the character. Well, a beautiful send-off for the Logan character. I like Wolverine, though. Yeah. I also that, think these shenanigans are great. People you're a little bit quiet, y'all. You got to speak up a bit in your mic. Oh, I say shenanigans. Shenanigans uh, are very good. Good shenanigans are good. I want to go to the movie theater for one reason. To forget that life sucks for two hours. <laughs> two hours. Exactly. I It's one of the few movies I've seen twice in theater. Oh, wow. Know? So, so it, wait. But that, so, that means four hours. So, if you do the math, that means... Mm -hmm. You're almost four there. Hours. Yeah. Four Four... four. Four hours of happy 
happiness. What's that like? Absence of sorrow. Absence of sorrow. What's that like? Nice. It's nice. It's It's nice nice. to turn your brain off and just like, haha, I like it when person shows up and they're like, oh my God, it's them. (laughs) For like two hours. Everyone's like, that's not filmmaking. I'm like, I don't fuck. I'm going to show up and watch it again. (laughs) (laughs) Sometimes. Like, not all movies seem to be evaluated the same way. Like, some movies, I feel like you can appreciate, like, the craft Mm. and the mastery and what they're trying to do. And other movies, like, you can enjoy it for what they are. You know, like, I... (laughs) It's an entertainment product, and it's for some people and for some not. This is why, like, you can trust some... Like, for example, like, the Borderlands reviews are just Mm -hmm. like, this is a piece of shit. It's like, all right, you can believe that. And everyone, like, is... But it's, like, as a good... Like, a, a universally panned movie might have, like, some joy in it. Mm. If it's rated R, uh, I don't know. Like, because if someone said if this was a rated R movie with this low of a rating, it would at least have a cult following. Mm. But they oh, actually did reshoots to make it PG thirteen to remove all the gore from it. I'm like, oh, wait, Borderlands? Yes, Borderlands. You know Borderlands. that's why. That's why yeah. I, I'm believe. That's why Bioshock is going to be a caca. It's going to be caca because they keep on. I don't. To be- I can't TV believe TV. it's going to be good. I just. I just. There's. there's... I can't believe it. It's not going to happen. It's Who's not making be it good. though? Who's what studio's making the Bioshock movie? Uh, a studio known for absolute masterpieces and never had a flop ever. On uh, Netflix. It's a to- it's a coin flip because it's Netflix though. That's the problem. I don't I don't think I don't think well, so. Well, no, they, don't forget, really, they, they make good shit too, along with the bad stuff. We just don't remember the bad stuff. But you gotta have a great team, and the team apparently ain't that good. Like you're, the I'm you're just being so run. quiet, I could not hear you. So you did Hold keep on. it a secret. I did keep it a secret. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Soggy pillows asks a question, and I have okay, an answer yeah. for you, Soggy pillows. And they have not asked it yet. They're typing it out. It's going to be very raunchy. Ooh. What's your favorite underrated movie or series? Underrated. Oh, uh, I, have, I have one. Okay. Okay. Go. Please go. By all means, go for it, Miss Lala. Do you have one? I need to think about it. Pushing Daisies. It was canceled oh, too soon. It was canceled okay. too soon. Pushing that, Daisies that is, is underrated. so good. That, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Titus. Titus. The sitcom Titus. I don't. Oh, wait, as in from the spinoff of Kimmy Schmidt? No. Oh no. Okay. What was Titus? Uh, is a, a stand-up comedian called Christopher Titus had kind of a traumatic life. Uh, did a sitcom about his life. Really well written, in my opinion. Really well written. Uh, Titus was a really fun show, but then the producer um, tried to tell him what to do, and he found out. He said even on his DVD commentary, you know, word for the wise, don't tell your senior producer who's producing your show to go fuck himself on the phone. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, you sure should to do that. Yeah. Uh, uh, oops, oops. Oops. And uh, yeah, it's a shame because I actually really like this show, even though he might secretly be an asshole. I have no idea anymore. <laughs> you know, Ooh. everyone's like, oh, I like their work. I wonder if they have a sex dungeon. <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Everyone, I'm like, hey, every, every, words, film, every filmmaker you say it. Yeah, oh, everyone who makes anything I enjoy, I'm like, I bet they're a monster. Every time, I'm not. I've yet to be imp- impressed. You know, I'd be like, wow, it turns out that they were actually a nice person the whole time. I just accepted that like a good eighty percent of people who make content are like low key selfish dicks. Well, now you got me thinking whether or not Steven Spielberg's got a crazy sex dungeon. Uh, oh, he probably, dude, Spielberg's probably an asshole too. Oh, 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 I meant specifically he about personally, the sex dungeon. He That's personally, more... I, I mean, the rumor is that he punished uh, John Carpenter for releasing the thing at the same time as E.T. Ooh. Because mm, nah. e. the thing got pulled from a lot of theaters when E.T. was running, and it personally fucked him over. And because then the thing got panned by the reviewers mm-hmm. and didn't get enough love, wasn't, didn't, wasn't able to make enough money, and it like sandbagged his career, and it was his dream project. Yeah. And the thing is amazing. Exactly, everybody. It might be my favorite horror movie. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah. I see. Yeah. But does Steven Spielberg have a dinosaur themed sex dungeon? That's the question I got. He, he, he comes into the room dressed up as a T Rex, just naked. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's Monday nights, and then Tuesday he goes, ew, E.T. No, but E.T. here's the thing. There's a, there's a Steven Spielberg. Home, there's, then... a, there's a Steven Spielberg <laughs> Bioshock story. Wait, what? 
So apparently someone came in to talk to him because his office apparently in his house is in his basement. Because okay. it's like a, like a multi-story house. Whatever, right? right? But his basement, his <laughs> Whatever, actual money, office, money, he's, money. he's surrounded on both sides by an aquarium. So it's one of those wraparound aquariums for his office, what? which is actually great. Those look great. Those actually do look really great. So he was supposed to come into a meeting and there was no one there. And it turns out that Steven Spielberg was actually playing Bioshock on his laptop and it put it underneath. He was sitting on the floor and he it was playing it in where his legs go because he was so scared of looking at everything around him because <laughs> it was freaking him out a lot. Apparently, that's the rumor. No way. <laughs> yeah, the OG Bioshock. <laughs> OJ Bioshock is genuinely one of the best video games of all time. Yes. The best video game twist of all time. Yeah, I agree. Because it wasn't just a twist like, oh, now it's all crazy. It's like, wow, that fucks with my head. Mm -hmm. I remember being in such shock at the twist that I dropped the controller. Yeah, I was, I like, was gagged. I was super gagged. Like, <gasps> no. For all it like also subverted everything you've ever done in a in a shooter, at the same time. Yeah, it, it fucked with it was like fucked with my brain, fucked with my head, and great shit. I'm never playing Subnautica. I have thalassophobia. What? Wait, what? Bless you. What was that? Thalassophobia, a fear of deep water where you can't see the bottom. Really? Oh, I didn't know that you had. Actually, that. one of the most co oh one of the most common fears. Really? Second most common fear, except for the fear of death. Fear of death is the most common. I'm scared of death. Do you want to know why I'm scared of death? Why? That means I can't finesse bitches anymore. That's the fucking... <laughs> Out of all the fucking answers. <laughs> why did I expect to be anything else? Why did I expect... I expect you to say something maybe more deep, but philosophical, sentimental. And he's like... Taka no bitches. <laughs> but no her bitches. But taka no bitches. <laughs> oh, that was deep. Everyone's a show me boo. He's like, but that was deep. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Shomibu. And more talk later, Taka, would you kindly let Miss Lala run the bar and pet you like the, a kind dog? Would you kindly? What? No. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, wait. I have to. I, I, I must I must dress appropriately for this because I can't be a barb trying to uh, subjugate a dog. How okay. dare you? Okay. How dare you? Ma! Okay. Good boy, Taka. What a good boy, Taka is. Pet the. Oh, let me go over here. Here, here, here. Go here. Little pet the Taka. I got pet the Taka. Good, good Taka. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Taka. I hate good you. Boy. Why did good I let you ask boy. questions? Ah! Okay, fine. <laughs> All right, fine. Want blue? No, you don't want blue. <laughs> Ball. Want some nine ball? Blue? Ball? Blue? <laughs> Any heat. Thank you all for being here, everybody. We're having a good time. You're having a good time, chat? That's excellent. By the way, if you could like, favorite, subscribe, I can keep my I can keep my lights on. You like like favor and subscribe? Yeah, I need that. I need that. Listen, I'm doing one thing with these streams to what? mine it for YouTube content so I can barely afford my editor. That's what we all do our work for. <laughs> if I wanted to make a lot of money, I would scam old people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't get into the tennis ball business, Saga? No, I didn't because as, as, as someone who was turned into a dog, I fear I would chew them. <laughs> Yeah, let me tell you, I've, I've really, I've really, the, the turnaround in terms of tennis balls at the low wholesale price and popping them on every single walker, let me tell you, missed opportunity in the market. Mm. And then, you you know, you make some a little fault. You think so someone you would make, like, like bottom, like, you know how they put tennis balls at the bottom of, like, people's canes and everything so it's, like, yeah. less jolt to their body? Why don't they just color them a different fucking color? <laughs> What do you mean? Color of a different fucking Why color. Why are they a tennis ball? Why not get like make tennis balls that are the color of canes, which are never lime green? Well, because what? What? Senior citizens can't have drip too? That's offensive. I'll be up? honest. If I need a cane, I would make it lime green so I always know where the fuck it is. 
I do have a cane actually. And uh, the cane that I have is a Lucite clear cane because I wanted to feel like, what's his name? He was like the, he was like the one with all the Riz in Tron, in Tron Legacy. I wanted to put like LED lights in it. Okay, that means like a, so like a light up cane. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to. Be, yeah, I wanted to. A cane. You with wanted drip. a lightsaber. Yeah. I, yes, I wanted. And a, you call and I call myself basic. My God. <gasps> Jack Taka. shocked. What? Taka. What? You cannot shame me from my basic bitchness. Every October, I look forward to the what? leaves changing color, to it getting a little colder, and for the moment that I get to put my feet into some fucking fleece line boots, head my ass over to Starbucks, and get myself a venti pumpkin spice latte, and nobody can stop me, okay? I, nobody. <laughs> I need you to know. What? When we started talking about when I called you basic, I'm like, how dare yeah. you call me basic? And I thought in my mind... Who am I to judge? I also drink pumpkin spice latte in my head. And then you talk about what you just said. And like she's going to mention pumpkin spice latte. And I'm going to be the biggest, most basic bitch of them all. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Because guess what, everybody? I fucking love pumpkin spice latte. It's so I, good. I don't, I'm, every time I'm just like, mmm. So good. So, mm, mm. I just want to get Uggs. I just want to get comfy and read a book. Yeah. And I and I just and I just want to like be emotionally unavailable for my partner. That's just what it ma- makes me want to do in that. <laughs> <laughs> and then way too available. Like never in between. One or the other. The sharp <laughs> the dizzying highs and the brutal lows. Only those two. <laughs> That's why you look forward to that seasonal pleasure of being able to shut down in the name of cozy, comfy fullness. See, yeah, we actually or... have a special we have a special pleasure here in Canada. Oh, oh my God! Because oh, you know about, about Tim, this... you know about Tim Hortons. You know all about Tim Hortons. Yes, I, I've I've heard about this. We have pumpkin one. spice donuts and pumpkin spice Timbits. Wait, what's it? Uh, not in front. Timbits of are topic. donut holes that we call Timbits. Because oh, okay. calling it a donut hole sounds very, very, very brutally sexual. Okay, but not saying I'm going to put some Timbits in my mouth doesn't sound brutally sexual. Mm, can't wait to get my tongue all over this donut hole. See, it doesn't sound great. It doesn't sound great. It's oh the my same god! Thing. What, oh my god! What, what? When I got when, when I started eat, when I just when I just had the donut hole, it just oh god! I just got an erection. You know, you can't say things like this. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me let me fucking get this this whole fucking oxygen tank of copium for you. What do you mean the t- the tiddly bits? Be like, oh, I can't wait to get these fucking tiddly bits and put them in my my mouth. I can't wait to get them on this. Tiddly kind of bits. Just, yeah, isn't that you just said that tiddly bits? I don't. Tim bits, not tiddly bits. It's Tim bits. Thing. You said the same. T- Tim's bits. Okay, Tim Bits. Tim, the place Tim is called bits. Tim Hortons, okay, so and we Tim get Tim bits. bits. Okay, so Tim's Bits in my mouth? That does sound brutally sexual? What kind? Here, here we go. Huff it up. Huff the copium. What do you mean? Tim's Bits in my mouth? That sounds just as Hold on. I'm going I'm, I'm to show you what Tim Bits are. I'm going to show you right now what Tim Bits are. Want to know why? Uh, because I am, I'm, I am a teacher. I don't want to look at And also a stubborn bits. asshole. This is, this, these are Tim I, Bits. I don't want to look at Tim's Bits. There you are. These are Tim I Bits. Look- I want to look at my husband's bits. I don't want to look at Tim's bits. <laughs> Maybe he wants to look at your Tim bits. I don't know. Like, these, are, these are Tim bits, okay? And I brought enough to share with everybody, okay? Deception 2112, mm, Tim bits, yummy. There you go. See, Deception, that's oh, so, why so little... you're a good ex. You, I, I will share the big box of Tim bits with the chat, <laughs> okay? That's what I'll do. Okay, so they're, so they're, so they're literally donut holes. Yeah. I thought you were pulling my leg this entire time. No. They're actually I would. N- I will never lie to you, Miss Lala. I will omit the truth, though. But that's <laughs> it for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's no way there's actually a thing called Timbits. There really is. I also thought when you said about a magical thing, I was like, mm. I have heard of poutine. Once again, that's another thing I've also practiced. With yeah, he's husband. the leader of Russia. Wait, what? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, what? Vladimir Putin. <laughs> His gravy's running all over. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I, got an, I, I got an idea. This is a fr- some French gentleman. We shall make a poutine. It shall be uh, fries, gravy, and what else? 
The cards, cards of the cheese. <laughs> I think Anything that's else? Actually... Uh -huh. I mean, what else do you need? It's 3,000 calories. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's accurate. I think I, I think I saw that in a documentary. It was said just like that. I think that was perfect. <laughs> Blaze and Vixen. Oh my god, I was taking a handful of my meds and about choked on them. Raffle now. <laughs> the founder was named Tim Horton. He was a hockey player. We are truly eating his bits. I still... I know, it's a stupid name for a business, but you know what else is a stupid name for a business? What? I'll think of it. One second. Jimmy John's. Well. It's kind of okay. dumb. How Not about really. how about how about average sandwich? A average sandwich? Oh, I did <laughs> I don't like Jimmy John's. I just oh, don't. don't. I was just I'm like, gonna I'm gonna say something sandwich. really sacrilegious here. You know what's okay. better than Jimmy John's? You know what's better than Jimmy John's chat? Yeah, you buckle up, chat. Buckle up, okay? You know what's better than Jimmy John's? What? Blue, but not just that. <laughs> Quiznos is better than Jimmy John's. Yeah, I said it. I said it. It's been so nice hanging out with you, Taka. I just... Are you leaving now? Is it because... Why? What? What? Is, what, what is, well... Oh, no. Chat's like, oh, this is polarizing chat. <laughs> I, well, I, got, I got an answer. I got an answer in, in terms of great sandwiches. I got, a, I got one. In well, the, the best sandwich place is always some local place Publix. that isn't a fucking chain. But oh, okay, Publix, chain. I thought that's Publix. where you get like your. I thought that's where you get your like, your oil changed and shit. <laughs> it it is, sounds like I got is, my oil changed in a Publix. It just sounds like that makes sense. <laughs> it is a like east southeast coast maybe a uh, supermarket chain, and their pub subs are legendary. Uh, I love okay. Viva the Pub Subs. They're so good. They're my favorite chain sandwich, for sure. For sure. Viva the Pub Subs, for those okay. who are in the know. See, I live in know, Canada, you know. so we don't have a lot of these sandwich places you're talking about here. Yes, that's that's true. But I do agree. Local sandwich shops really... Oh, they're they truly, always the best. They truly... Uh, how do you say this in a way that crosses language barriers? Uh, they truly fuck the most. For sure, mm, they fuck. Mm. They do. They fuck. They do. They do. You just like you, you yeah. put them in. You put it in your mouth. You're like, oh, mom. <laughs> I've never just tried like Jersey that. Mike's chat. I've never tried Jersey Mike's. I've never tried Publix. I've never. E I've only ever been in a Wawa once. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just not cultured. I'm Canadian. Mm. Got to do a sub. You got to do like a subway tierless stream where you get like like a oh, yeah. sub tierless stream. So you put all the subs, line them up, take a bite of each, mm. unfiltered review. So Masaki Kagura has asked a question. Have you? Oh. Uh, yeah, here we go. So have you seen? Have you seen? Sorry, one second. Have you seen the live action dwarves or the live action Snow White? Yes, I have, and I am. It looks weird. Visually speaking, it looks very odd. Who's to say what the movie is? I think we know what the plot will be, but uh, it looks a bit odd. It looks a bit odd. It's. Uh... I know you're a Disney princess, so you're biased for it, but still. Wait, Grab what? Me. Stop assuming. Oh, of course, of course. I see, I see, I see how this is. Yeah, there's going to be a Disney movie about a '50s diner waitress who then has a magical adventure. Is that so hard to believe? That's in their wheelhouse. That's something yes. Pixar would make. Exactly, but instead, it's more of like the enchanted vein, where like I start singing and then like roaches start tap dancing. Like that's more of the vein. I feel like. It's yeah. going to be produced by Illumination. It's going to be great. Yes. There's going to no, be they're going to be making Mar Super Mario Brothers sequels for like the next 20 years. That's going to be their job. Because <laughs> that made so much goddamn fucking money. <laughs> it, did. it really did. <laughs> Crappy cosplayers, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome here. Welcome. Mm. The uh, best sandwich is the one you make yourself. Exactly, more. You nailed it. That's mm. The best sandwich is the one you make. That's true. That's true. Yeah. That Some people are like, I, I cut up olives in, into, I dice up olives and put it on my sandwich. Everyone's like, what? <gasps> you put olives on your sandwich? I'm like, do no. you not know about putting olives on sandwiches? I am I am a, I am am an olive lover. I fucking love mm. olives. Mm. Olives oh, yeah. are so good. They're so good. Oh, yeah. So now, good. Do you, like so good. Do, you, do you like garlic stuffed? Oh, I love garlic stuffed and I love jalapeno stuffed. Uh, they're great little yeah. snacky snack. They're like, you mm -hmm. know, 2 a.m. You're like, oh, I got a little hanker if I load no, snacky snack. Okay, so they're going to ask black olives or green olives? Green olives. Green olives. I love black olives on my pizza, though. That's my favorite topping. Black, no, okay, okay, so yeah, black olives got to go on pizza because, mm -hmm. like, it, the, otherwise the green olive will overwhelm the flavor. But, like, yes. you got to put green olives on sandwiches. Yeah. 
I agree. That's good. That's that's fair. That's fair. Why not both? That put a little top of nod action. Some put people little... are just like, how dare you talk about them? I'm like, listen, listen. Olives, black licorice, and like mushrooms and pineapple are all very polarizing food. Not everyone likes them. Yeah, Taka. I have to. This this is a deal breaker for our friendship. What? I have to know something. I have to know the truth. Okay. You're Canadian. Mm -hmm. What is your opinion? On what? Pineapples on pizza. Let's be honest here. Pizza As is pizza is bottom tier food. That's also the greatest food ever made. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a it's a duality because technically, what is pizza? If it was literally just a leftover dish in, from Italy, where they just go, "What did we have for dinner last night?" I don't know. Put it on some pizza. Put it on. Put it on some bread and put some cheese on it. <laughs> but it's so delicious. It's it is. It's great. It's so so in the end, in nature of what it is, which is essentially recycling, you can put whatever the fuck you want in that. <laughs> so in the end, I I don't personally don't care for pineapple pizza because it's too sweet. And when I oh, eat okay. pizza, I don't like sweet. I want savory. Oh, you know, you, you got me so nervous with all this lead up. You got me so nervous. Why you could just say it for the beginning? Oh my God. You're like getting my heart rate up. I was like, I was like, this is the moment. What, what you... you know, I spent time with you. I broke bread with you. I drank you six cups of coffee with you. We did. And, we did. and I, this is the moment where our friendship falls apart. This very moment where you decide that pineapple, like that it's acceptable, that it tastes good on pizza. And then you said it doesn't. And I was like, oh, God. I don't think oh, it is. God, thank God, but thank I get God. why people like it. Because a lot of people like terrible things. That's, you know, that's true. That's fair. You know, because my true. favorite food is not pizza. Because I feel we all have a trash food that we will just, will, that we will just like, oh, man, yeah. I don't know what to eat. I know I'll get that. And for me, it's hot dogs. <gasps> oh. Love me a dog. That's why I wish it was born on the East Coast where it I was like the hot – where, where I, would like, I would love to go to Chicago. I would love – sorry. I would love to go to Boston to exclusively go to hot dog places. <laughs> You gotta come to Coney Island in Brooklyn. You gotta go to I've Nathan's. never in my life had a Coney Island dog ever. <gasps> I make sure to get one every summer, Taka. I get one every summer. It's literally an annual tradition for me. I have to get my Coney Island dog every year. I've Is never really gotten glizzy. I never gotten glizzied once, and even, and I thought that sounded like a porn thing. <laughs> I'm not wrong for thinking that. Oh, well, if you glizzy your Tim's bits, uh, yeah, that I sounds like I literally, the I literally, I literally said, who wants a foot long glizzy? And I'm just like, all right, is that like, what is that like a, is that a bukkake or something? What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> the one time I ever saw Papaya King, because I've been in New York City a couple times. Yeah. And I've been in the village. I went by that Papaya, that papaya King that's right mm. on that corner in the village. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know the one I'm talking about. The yeah. second time I went there, because I've only been in New York twice, the second time I went past it, there was a guy who was passed out with his face in his fries. That is such a And a Papaya King worker was shaking them awake because they were just face first in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. The king I mean, everyone... Everyone, everyone in chat is like, you know, Glizzy does sound pretty suggestive. It does. It just it, does. It, well, yeah, because I feel like you, you see, it like, like it glides down your throat, Glizzy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's where my mind goes. So it's just like when I first heard it too, I was just there's just certain terms I've learned. And I was like, why are you, why do you use that word? Why? What, what was wrong with the original word? What happened? What's wrong with saying hot? Dog? I don't even What's think saying, saying calling gl the gl the Glizzy dog is a necessarily bad thing. It's just as as the language has evolved, it just sounds like a TikTok trend. <laughs> Have you seen what the kids are doing? They're doing those Glizzy dogs. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it sound terrible. The kids it are does. doing the glizzies. Oh my god! Not Timmy. Glizzy. Timmy especially. You know. <laughs> Bla Blaze and Vixen's nail and glizzy just sounds too close to jizzy. It just does. It just does. <laughs> it sounds like okay. it's like it's like how like everyone's like boneless and then they just have like the big letter B instead. <laughs> it feels like it's one of those things. <laughs> glizzy dog just sounds like you bedazzled the hot dog. <laughs> Is there another like phrase of of like of the of the youth that you're like, what the hell is this? What was another like that really like caught you up there? I was like, what do you what are you trying to say? What you, what are you trying to say? Oh, where time is too many, mm. and I, at this point, I'm just assuming it's bad. Yes, <laughs> you know, I'm just I, I, I'm not bothering asking questions. I'm just going to assume I shouldn't say it. There's a certain <laughs> like new words. I'm just like I'm all for that new word. I'm all I'm all. <laughs> if anything, like fam was was great for me because I'm just like, oh, it's just bud. I'm Canadian, yeah. so we have Bud. Hey, Bud, how's it going there, Bud? Oh, is that a Canadian thing to be like, hey, Bud? But, 
How's it going there, buddy? How's it going there, friend? It's How's it going like, there, bud? Okay, okay. Kind of like how... Oh, fuck you... yeah, bud! <laughs> this is the thing. If, so if you ever hear a Canadian go, hey, buddy, how you doing? And they're not their friend, you know that that's like low-key derogatory. Hey, buddy, derogatory. <laughs> 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 but but hey, buddy, okay, buddy. Hey, bud, you doing okay? Literally, it, this is this is a this is a phrase that if you hear a Canadian say this to a complete stranger, know that there's danger. Hey, bud, you doing okay there, bud? <laughs> doing okay there, bud? Which is code for the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> that sounded oh. more Minnesotan. I know they're bootleg Canadians, but anyways. <laughs> You see, like, Canada, like, dips down right in the middle yeah. there, and, like, it's a little drip effect that affects Minnesota. Oh, I'm learning so... Oh, I should have should have continued taking notes. I feel like I'm learning so much. I'm becoming very well-versed mm. in the world in this mm. very moment. Yeah. It's interesting because technically New York is, like, like super, super close to Canada, but mm -hmm. culturally could not be any more different. Well, I feel like New York City is just a whole state of its own, even though it's part of New York State in general. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, uh, mm. culturally in New York City, the way uh, they like to say hello is fuck your mother. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's like the very wholesome way New York. You be like all out there grinding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, grinding. Grinding with your I remember one time I was in New York City and I had yeah. a stereotypical New York City moment happen to me. What? I was walking. I was walking along. It was cold. I wanted to see the UN. So I walked yeah. by the UN real quick. I was walking back from the UN. And there was two fat Italian cops walking by. <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> they were fat and I literally like but no for real though you just to talk about me I was like what the fuck did I just hear <laughs> it's like right out of a movie it literally sounds like something out of a video game like a <laughs> default dialogue did you, did you just to talk about me there man <laughs> I took her out for some glizzies <laughs> I gave her a glizzy down A banana rama says, by the way, Lala, I love your design aesthetic. Oh, thank you so much. That's very sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. mm. I uh, I love that they came in being like a wholesome comment in between and be like, oh, yeah, I double fist my glizzies. And you're like, oh, good for you. <laughs> glizzies are sometimes a glizzy is so big you need a two hander for it. <laughs> I would imagine. <laughs> It sounds terrible. It does. It this is why the awful. language the language has moved past it. It's and it's just it's it's like how there's a there's an actual rum brand called Mount Gay Rum. Now apparently, and I've had it. It's really good rum, but it's called Mount Gay Rum. And you know they had a meeting at some point. Uh -huh. You know they had a meeting at some point. They're like, um, guys, it's called Mount Gay Rum. And then the CEO just pounded his pounded his fist. We'll never change the name. <laughs> but it's nice to know it's good rum. Though there's an actual mountain called Mount Gay. There wait, where? Somewhere. Somewhere? I would imagine somewhere in the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere. Where they make yeah, where oh, rum is very popular. El Ellie Cartoons with a raid. Well, we're a couple of cartoon characters, so this fits, right? I know Ellie. Ellie's lovely. lovely. Barbados. Oh, I nailed it. It's in Barbados. Oh, no way. Really? That's amazing. Yes, yep, yeah, Mr. Thank you so much, SK Slav. Uh, Kirby Oreo. Hoi, hoi. Welcome, everybody. My name is Takahata. Welcome to my bar. I got you, Blue. <laughs> right here, you. You want Blue? Okay, not you. How about you, huh? You want that? No, no, no. no. You? Isn't it awesome they have the Gaylord Hotel for VTubers? No, no, that's in Washington. Yes. There's actually a series of Gaylords all throughout America. Mm -hmm. Each more Gaylordy than the last. <laughs> and you know they've had a meeting, and they're like, no, we're not changing the name. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. you, have, you have this council that are the Lord of the Gays. I'd love to meet them. No, it's an actual brand of hotels. It's called Gaylords. I know. It's amazing. <laughs> That's weird. Wait, wait is it I can't believe kids. I, I can't. There? It's really weird. I look back at, like, you know, primary school and, like, grade four and five. Kids were just calling me, like, a hotel all the time. It's odd. Well, they believed in your entrepreneurial spirit, Taka. I think that's what they're trying to point out. I have to allow Gaylord <laughs> because it's being blocked constantly on my stream. <laughs> I can concur. I've seen a neighborhood called Gaylord. 
<laughs> just one of those words that is a lot being lost to time. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You don't really hear that being. No, no, no it's not really. <laughs> so if you drink Mount Gay rum at the Gay Lord, it's like it's and and a Glizzy. It's really interesting. <laughs> it's a very oh, that sounds like quite a good time. You know, I can't believe I came here to catch up with you, Taka, yeah. and I learned yeah. about geography. Yeah, I learned about um, specialized vernacular. Yeah. I know I learned about it's, <laughs> it's really like I come for this like very educational experience every time I come here. I feel like every time I'm a smarter lady after I spend time at your bar. <laughs> Someone in chat says there's an intercourse Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> I bet there is. Yeah, I bet you're doing it and then you have a feeling. Pennsylvania people here. from Pennsylvania are just the most northern southerners. Let's be real here, okay? <laughs> I never heard that, but when you said that, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, no, I heard that as a slur one time against people from Pennsylvania, and I'm not going to lie. I laughed my ass off reading it. As a Canadian, I'm just like, you're all Southerners to us. (laughs) War Dog Leader is going to be asking a question. Oh, question. Question. When I was working for a bar, there was a Mount Gay vodka, and it was the funniest thing to try and sell. The bar was in a private golf course, so you know how that went, lol. That's not really a question, but I appreciate you sharing it. <laughs> Is the question, do I want to go to the private golf course? I, I mean, golf – I mean, I, I got to agree with – um. Uh, family guy golf was created as a means for men to cheat with their wives. Sure. Guys have to go to another town for eight hours a day. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> I I have to admit, I I don't I don't understand the appeal of golf. I don't. It's I, it, I it literally is just a way. It. It's it's a it's a it's technically you're outside. Technically you're doing something, and you okay. can hold a full blown conversation with other people while you're doing it. But I could do that at a ball game. I, I know you. I, conversation. I, I, I talk but about. Like, like, but there's like a crowd. I like take there's my a, therapist. And we do sessions over there where we you're go. Just, you're you know, just, ang- you're just angry because you can't get a glizzy at a golf course. Okay, I get it. I. It is a problem. I can't believe you have a fancy ass golf course with all this fancy equipment. You can't have a fucking Nathan's dog that you just got to defrost in a fucking microwave. There should be a dog. You're right. There should there should be a glizzy boy who swings by. I'm like, there you need a glizzy, that's huh? Now glizzy for you. Yeah. Glizzy, I five dollar glizzy. I want a boy to give me his glizzy when on demand. Like, is that so hard to ask for? I don't. Dad, is that too much? I don't can't. I've corrupted her. I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> Chat, I'm just so sorry. I've corrupted her with this glizzy talk. It's, it's adorable that he thinks he corrupted me. <laughs> so you think I'm a bad adorable. influence? You know who the worst influence of all is? You. It's you, Chat. You're the worst influence. Yeah, you're the worst, yeah. <laughs> glizzy boy! Give me a glizzy, goddammit! You know so what imagine. I just... Uh, his, you watched History of the World Part 1 when uh, he's like, piss boy, bring the piss bucket. Like, I imagine that same concept, but with the glizzy dog. Like, <laughs> bring, the, bring the glizzy bucket. <laughs> Feeds me like a fucking penguin at the zoo, you know? I'm like, ah, 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 ah. And they fucking fling, they fling the glizzy in my mouth, you know? Like... My poor like the- editor going through this, going like, I got to look up every fucking picture of a glizzy that exists on the internet right now for this. <laughs> <laughs> now I want hot dogs for dinner, though. That's the crazy thing. <laughs> it worked. It worked. It worked. <laughs> Jack getting apart. She's about to put a dime in the jukebox and listen to Thin Glizzy. <laughs> uh, it, it's true. It feels, it, it feels so, it feels like, it feels uncomfortable to say. It feels mm. un- it's an uncomfortable word to say. I'd much is. rather say, yeah, hot dog, wiener, all those things. Dog. 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 I mean, there was a, what was it? Was it was, was, yeah, literally, when I was in LA, I went to Dog House. H A U S. Dog House. It's like House of Dog. Like fashion? Oh, it, it, it just was- made like, it just makes like $8 hot dogs. $8 it's hot like, dogs. That's like way yeah, too was, much it, for a hot dog. No, no. These are like good fucking hot dogs, though. A dog, I think House of Dog or Dog House. Fuck. Why am I yeah, forgetting yeah. his name? It was like right near where I was staying. There's a bunch of them there. It's like yeah, really, yeah, yeah. Fuck, it's really mm-hmm. fucking good, though. I went there multiple times because I love me a dog. I love you a dog. <laughs> you're kidding, I work in the meat industry, and I have to fight my inner juvenile every time some old person asks for wieners. 
<laughs> you gotta like some it. wieners. It's still it's a funny word. Listen, it doesn't it doesn't matter how old you are. Fart jokes are funny, butts are funny, and wieners are funny. Brat, I mean, the, I think the one thing that's really being crazy is brat brat worst because like I know plenty of brats who are the worst. <laughs> Listen, VTubers come in many forms, okay? Okay? <laughs> there, 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 there is dominating goth mommy. Yes. There is unhinged sex psycho. And then there's <laughs> brat. And those okay. are the three. Okay, Taka, which one am I? You're an angel. Oh, what a great liar he is. It's so sweet. I am. I am. <laughs> Omitter of the truth. Good save, though. Fat thinker. Yeah, thank, thank you. <laughs> I lied as easily as I breathe. <coughs> it's a work in progress. It's great. And and Taka, uh, what do you think? Wh where do you fall in that? Uh, in in that out of, out of those three categories? Uh, where, where are you? <laughs> I'm a brat. I'm actually a special breed. I'm a brat tamer. Oh, oh, oh mm. I see. You're a brat that's been tamed, you said. Okay, no, 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 okay. no. Okay. No, I tame the brats. Yeah, right. That's right. what I do. Yeah, yeah. You heard that. He is the captain of the tamed brats, everybody. Said here in 4K at the Reward 101. Taka, yeah. king of the uh, tamed brats. Very, very happy for him. There's nothing tamed about me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he even got I've been taming brats for years. <laughs> All right, I have to ask, how unhinged does Miss Lala get at ball games? From the sounds of it, it is worst, worst. Okay, from the sounds of it, worse than what the Scottish do during football matches. Oh come on! Oh please! I wear gloves when I smack somebody in the mouth. Jesus, I'm a lady. <laughs> no one's a lady at a ball game. <laughs> you fucking ref! You call that a fucking game? Ref, fucking fucking fuck fuck fuck. <laughs> do, do the Mets play hand? They play had? You said? Yeah, they do. Well, everyone everyone from Boston's talked with a shop A. That's why I've never gone there. Yo, tack a hat at I'm like, I can't do it. I just <laughs> Drinking <laughs> Buddy! Holy shit, I got you blue, motherfucker! I got you blue! This Let's blue go! is your 20 gifted subs from Drinking Buddy! And I gotta say, I have to read off their names now. I gotta, yeah. I gotta, I gotta read off their names now. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Yeah, yeah. All Let's right. Let's fucking do it. Let's do it. Drinking Buddy giving it a shot to Grandom, Wicked DZ, Drax TD, A Happy Space Cow, A Ru Adrift, Sir Dayton, Creep Show, Manosphere, The Not That Nurgling, Ninja Okami, Red Cinder, Tindy, Astronomical, Astronomical, there we go, B Ranger 89 Conditioned Gamer, Captain Walrus, Rettle 4, Dragzix, Kittimerby, and Stego Leaf. Thank you all so much for being here. I love it here. Drinking Buddy, you love it here? Well, guess what? I, I'm going to make you a special drink now, okay? I'm going to make you a special drink here. I'm going to get a special drink out here. All right? I'm... All right, hold on one second here. My God, thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs. That will pay for dinner. <laughs> I'm getting glizzies. He's getting so many glizzies. Each each sub equals one glizzy. He will take Each 20... glizzy I get brings me one step closer to Gad. <laughs> to Gad? <laughs> to Gad, because we're on a mission Gad. from Gad. Torn Bubble, thank you so much. Oh, look what I drink I got for you, though. Look at this. <gasps> yeah, that's right. Take a look at this bad boy. Yeah, that's right. Take a look at this. This is for you. This is for you, drinking buddy. Is that cherry rum? Yes, it is. This is a rum cherry whiskey drink. It's drink. Is it made with Mount Gay rum? I if if you want if you want that, yeah, it is. Yo, is that a Manhattan? It is a Manhattan, actually. <laughs> Since we've been talking about the East Coast all night here, I figured a Manhattan was appropriate. Just gotta stir it with a glitch. Much approval. The there we go. You have yourself. There we go. Okay. There's just he's gonna just do like, oh oh he's oh, already drink. Oh already drink. Oh he's go oh he's going right after it. He's going right after it. Oh shit. Oh my oh my god, that just down. That is downed. Oh my god. You know what? Respect. 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 And also want to thank Torn Bubble for the six month resub. Thank you so much. You know what you get? You get blue! <laughs> I'm blue, da ba dee da ba die, da ba dee da ba die, da ba dee da ba die. Yeah. Blue, give me, give me, give me. All right, there we go. You, my poor summer child. Oh, my. 
You're just getting a little bit of sip there, you know what I mean? Just a little sip. <laughs> just a little sip. Just a little sip at the stream tonight, baby. <laughs> and now, because of the 20 gifted subs, I will now T-pose for 30 seconds. It is so tempting to tickle his armpit. I just want you to know that is an intrusive <coughs> thought that is happening at this very moment. He, I'm nearly choking him at the thought. <laughs> Quick, I'll distract you. Here's a taco. Oh, taco. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 taco. Who doesn't like tacos? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do love tacos, Taka. I love tacos and I do love glizzies. That's why I'm bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> You are a bad influence. <laughs> you are part of the problem. <laughs> Walking around, gobbling all the glizzies and chomping down on all the tacos you want. God, I'm a lady who knows what she wants. I never. I this never is the future it. liberals <laughs> want. <laughs> I do. What? I, and I all I want to be is in a polycube. Anyways, um. <laughs> A polycube? What is it? They, uh, no, have, no, 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 they no, got no, poly is, trapezoids now, too? Polydehecahedron is the best <laughs> way to describe it. <laughs> I'll reserve you 793. Hey, yo, let's get the support going. Meat and vodka for everybody. All righty, meat and vodka for you. Here we go. Meat and vodka for you. There you go. This is for you, Razzery. It's for you, Poly D20. <laughs> It's like a poly triad. It's like just you and two other people. And then for some bisexual people, that's like required because it's almost like, I don't know. It's what, it's like one thing I learned is I learned that it, your gender, your sexuality, and your romantic preference, all three of them are on a spectrum. Mm. Three separate spectrums. And then, mm -hmm. then you have this ideal thing that we're all looking for. Mm -hmm. and, that's a re and that's true. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's true. God. And I'm just looking for an all-you-can-eat buffet, so. <gasps> hey. What? Think I, I love you know, shrimp. I, I'm, I am I'm straight. Unlimited bread I shrimp. only get what? to order off one half of the menu, okay? That sounds like a skill issue, Taka. That's not a skill. <laughs> I don't like glizzies. <laughs> Trust me. I see, I see bisexual people. I'm like, man, that must be great just being able to enjoy mm. everybody. That's on a great. certain level. And I'm just out yeah. here. I can only handle uh, like half. <laughs> <laughs> and they're the ladies. That's right. Proto Saber 363. Ah, great seeing you, Proto Saber. I just got back from an attempt to socialize at a party. It was awful. I was there for an hour. New record. Taka, can I get a shot of Jameson, please? I'm so sorry to hear it was only, it was awful. Ah, it, you know, sometimes things just don't work. Sometimes just going to a social, especially if you don't know a lot of people, can be really like, bleh. it's not the best. But you tried. And yeah. the most important thing is that you can say, well, I tried at least. And that's better than not trying and then complaining that you, you don't have anything. I think people just assume that social skills is something you either have or you don't. And it's not something you have to work at. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like, yeah, you could go to even the most extroverted people can go to a get together and be like, oh, this is too much. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm like that mm. sometimes, too. I mean, as much as I'm like very much a like social butterfly, mm. sometimes I'm just I'm out of it, you know. All right, I got something. You know what I have for you? Blah. You know what I have? What I want to have for? No, not for you. For Proto Saber, oh. I got the big nut. <laughs> now I'm extra sad. You are. You give them a big nut, and what am I? So I'm just here sitting pretty. That's right. I got the big nut for you. I big nut. Little, little bread, little straw. It's right, it's right there. This is for you. It's the. I got the big nut for you. <laughs> the big nut. <laughs> That's a lot of nut. <laughs> I recently rewatched uh, Kung Pao Enter the Fist, and yes, it is the stupidest best movie of all time. That's a lot of nuts. <laughs> Flares out the microphone. Wait, have I seen Kung Pao? I don't know if I've seen Kung Pao. Oh, there were like Proto Saber. There's 36, 35 people there. Jesus, that's a lot of people. My name is you, you. You've seen Kung Pao. My name is Betty. No, you haven't seen that. Oh my God! Comedically, you are like you're in a wasteland if you haven't seen that. I'm bleeding, making me the victor. Wasteland, as if I was.
the I so I guess that just means that's something I got added to my watch list. Maybe uh, I got you gotta watch add, it's an hour and twenty minutes. It's not a big watch. I'm like, writing it right down like an old lady because I write down all the things I got to do and remember. For the time, it's rather interesting. It's almost like a proto abridged movie. Like literally, it, the the writer, director, main actor. It was a passion project, and he just got uh-huh. the rights to an old Chinese like Hong Kong movie. Yeah. And just like literally blue screened himself into the movie as the main character. No. And re edited everything, re dubbed no. everything to be a full com- full blown comedy. Wait, what? Yeah. Well, and it was made in 2002, so it was relatively early on with that technology. That's why it's actually, yeah. Really? Is that the one they trained a joke? This is Wimplo. We trained him wrong as a joke. If you've got an ass, I'll kick it. I By the way, it's so funny. It's like if you, because I know your sense of humor. You love silly voiceover. I I do love silly voiceover. Then this movie is like crack, because they oh. literally just like the Betty goes like, mm, "You for an henceforth will call me Betty." <laughs> <laughs> oh, chosen one, I love you. Wee 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 wee. Weird sound effects. A lot of weird sound effects. Oh, mm-hmm. it's so good. My nipple look like milk duds. <laughs> what? It's one of the lines. It's just like, what you call an elephant, a monkey, and a rooster? My ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't believe I haven't seen that. I haven't. I bet your strategy makes sense in some part of the galaxy. However, your one mistake is that this is Earth. <laughs> so, t- top tier. And everyone's voiced by the, the main actor. He voices everybody in the whole fucking movie, too. So he... he so he, He's he the guy who did Thumb War. The he's the guy who did Thumb Wars and shit. Oh, like, he, my he's a th- God. He's the Thumb Wars guy. But he's also no. the guy who made Ace... Of, he was actually one of the main writers for In Living Color. Oh, really? And worked with... Um, Specifically worked with Jim Carrey on a bunch of projects, and that he actually yeah. was the writer director for uh, Ace Ventura Two. <gasps> Which you know, I I love Ace fucking, Ventura Two. It, over the first fu- one, it's so I, good. I rem- the first one's horribly dated because of how bad the final joke is and the twist right. is. It's like really yeah. that's dated it. But yeah. the second one doesn't have that same problem. And as far as I'm concerned, the second one I remember being in the theater, cry laughing at the the rhino birth scene. Yeah, I was just gonna. I was- like also oh this is delicious what is it oh bat water it's rat dropping uh bat droppings i love i love just all the different moments in that movie it's so good oh it's so funny and that's the best oh, thing some of, the, some of those movies have aged poorly some of them haven't oh that rhino birthing scene is just so... oh it's just look kids it like it keeps getting worse <laughs> Yeah. Like the, it's, and that's the funny thing about it is that like, how could this get any worse? I'm like, yeah. a family shows up to watch. Okay, that's yeah. a, on its own. It's already fucking priceless as a visual, but having someone else uncomfortably watch it makes it ten times funnier. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. No. So that's uh, you know. So like, literally, the guy who made that made his own movie where he literally in, superimposed himself into his own like fucking martial arts epic where he redubbed everything. So it's very much. <laughs> Oh, and then after that, you know what he went on to go do after he was done that? What? He went on to go cre- pretty much co-create Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> what? It's, I'm like, that's the kind of career I want to have. It's some <laughs> batshit crazy shit like that. <laughs> yeah, he did. I want to thank uh, Razari737. Downs one, one glass and one gulp and throws it down on the floor. More! All oh, right, more blue. More blue. Oh, I don't have any blue. I have no blue. It's like... I'm just going to keep making drinks here. I you have keep- Amber... And nuts. <laughs> and the big yeah. nut. And the big nut. And the big nut. The biggest nut. The cocoa nut, if you will. Yeah, I do love drinking a cocoa nut with a little funky straw and a little umbrella. I've never actually had a drink in a cocoa nut before. <gasps> really? I feel like I'm not, I feel like I'm not rich and wealthy enough for that. What? It's so easy. I'll do it for you next time we hang out. I'll do. I'll make you. A, uh, uh, yeah, I'll make yeah. you a virgin cocktail in a cocoa nut. <sighs> it's for you. a shame you have to make it a virgin because I'm anything but. 
I said what yeah. I said, Taka. Okay, fine. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. I said, that's it. You get the apple juice, the Welch's apple juice with a fucking little straw, and, and, and you're lucky you get a little, like, maybe a little slice of orange in it. Yay. It. Yay. <laughs> I got the virgin drink. I'll drink you aside. Some virgin drinks are, there's certain drinks that can, you can drink in alcohol free version, they still taste delicious. Oh, gotta go to, yeah. Margarita. To Ooh, that's true. Margaritas you know? taste good without the tequila. They always have. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have da bartenders. daiquiris as well. Taste just good without the liquor. Mm -hmm. They just do. Uh, I will also admit, like a mo uh, a, a like Palmer actually tastes pretty mm -hmm. good without the alcohol too, and mm -hmm. a mojito. They taste mm -hmm. pretty good without the alcohol as well. Like it's not the alcohol's not necessary. It still tastes really refreshing. Yeah. Oh my God. Proto Saber, thank you so much for 110 bits. I'm now a child of light. 20k. Really. <laughs> 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 and I mean, oh my God, good to go, Maximo! Let's go. Oh, someone, let's go. Say, someone said, drinks, I got drinks, I got drinks, and you won't even believe it. I'm like, drinks on the house, yes, I can. Check out my J's and Taco. A taco. Call me Taco Hada. Mm, mm, taco Hada. Mm. All right, good to go, Maximo. You get yourself some sip. There you go. Get yourself some of the big nut juice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you for the five gifted subs to Malk Maven 1176, Lunar D Ace, Elvin Du, Mao Zemiel, and Potato Grunt. Thank you so much for dropping those five gifted shots. Enjoy your rum and a nut. <laughs> nut and rum. <laughs> nut and rum. That's the drink. Nut and rum. <laughs> <laughs> nut and rum and move to a whole new state. Good night. <laughs> You're cutting out so much. Into the mic. What am I doing? You know what I mean? I'm trying to spare everybody. I'm trying to spare everybody. I'm like cracking up too much. I'm sorry. No, it's just the mic cuts you out. That's why I was like, oh my god, is it is it doing that thing again where it automatically determines input sensitivity? Because oh, you may notice sometimes, folks, sometimes VTubers are quiet on other people's streams. It's because they have a setting turned on. Wait, what setting? Okay, go on Discord real quick here. Okay. Me. Okay, okay, go on Discord. Okay, okay, okay. okay I, want, I, want you to scroll. I want you to go to the gear at the bottom. Gear? You, you see the gear right okay, there? Okay, User okay, settings? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to voice and video. Okay, voice and video. Do you see a thing below voice activity and push to talk that says automatically determine input sensitivity? Yeah. Is that turned on? Yeah. Okay. It cuts <laughs> if anything is too loud or if I'm talking when you talk, it literally cuts your audio off. <gasps> so, oh so my God. Turn it, it turn it off and then you're going to see this big bar up here, okay? Yeah. I've set mine to minus 78 decibels. I'm going to do the same. Do I sound better already? I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you a joke. Okay. 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 Better be okay. a good one, Taka. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Really. <laughs> I. So one of the jokes in Kung Pao is everything uh -huh. badly dubbed, including that he has a pet dog who barks, and then it barks, and then two seconds later, bark. Sound effect plays after it's done barking. Like so, the dog is done talking, and then the, it, the it, dog, the dog is badly dubbed too. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, oh, yeah, so good. It, it li literally, yeah. By the way, it doesn't cut off your voice anymore. Oh wow, really? Wow. Yeah. Now, wow. so that all this time we've been, we we we, we, fi we fixed, we fixed our audio. Everybody, oh drinks are on the house. Five dollars a drink, though. <laughs> I was going to say, well, bartender, entertainer, audio engineer. No, this was yeah. actually because I did a Blizzy collab Twaddler. right when I when I started streaming. I did a bunch of collabs, and my audio kept getting cut off. And I was like, what really? the fuck is that? So I researched it. Yeah, there's an automatic setting that every time you turn on Discord, automatically to determine input sensitivity. Well, if you're When you're streaming yourself, it never gets picked up. But if you're on someone else's stream through Discord, it gets picked uh -huh. up. So if they talk <gasps> or you're too loud, cuts off your audio. 
which is horrible for comedy because I love your laugh. Your laugh is so infectious. And when oh, we hung out in person, you. we were dry heaving laughing. Because <laughs> because like eventually we're sitting there. We got our legs. We got our we got our we got our we got our, le- we got our legs like you know like we crossed our legs and we're and we're just sitting there with two J's and we're just like <laughs> so dish girl what's going on you dish first bitch <laughs> <laughs> and we sat there sipping alcohol free alcohol <laughs> smoking J's going like mm-hmm 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 just agreeing with ourselves and I need you to know one of my favorite memories of the whole trip was sitting out there in the in uh, in the shade smoking weed throwing shade <laughs> Oh, I, 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 w- I actually was talking about this earlier. I'm actually, I've, I'm very, uh, I'm a little self conscious about my laugh because I know it's a, I, I laugh very, I, I, I laugh I, very loudly and, and like fully with my body, like, you know, like one of those where yeah. like I throw my head. I mean, you saw me, like I, oh I, yeah, I, I oh yeah, body laugh, and so I sometimes like get really, and so I actually like cover my mouth, and sometimes I do on the street, and I was like, oh, I'm sorry, like that's why, like I was pushing myself physically actually away from the bike when I was laughing. Sometimes times because i was like oh no i'm worried about being too loud so that's oh, that was cutting you off every time you laughed and this is, but this is every collab every collab you've done this is happening every time you've collabed on someone else's stream your audio has been cut off essentially okay but now okay. no oh you my god gotta, you just gotta change it on your phone because it, it doesn't like transfer over to your phone setting uh-huh, uh-huh. so you just gotta double check it on your phone and everyone's like but you got the best laugh though your laugh is so authentic it really is an area siren with a rate of 20 people welcome guess what guess what i got area welcome to the weary 101 i'm joined by miss lala and i got drinks for you Ah! (laughs) (laughs) everyone chat you like you like lala's laugh right because i fucking love it because it's so genuine Because it's just because you love to laugh. I can tell you love laughing. You love I comedy. Because myself and Lala actually did, like, and it, you're, I cut your audio off as well when we were watching Simpsons together. Oh, really? Oh, my so God. So you got to check your phone settings for your phone. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll make sure and, to and do she, that. Cha- same setting, same thing. And I was cry laughing watching The Simpsons with you. Oh, you've never seen it. It's like, wow, this shit's fucking funny. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> 1993, and it still holds up. That's why so many yeah. people just suck off the first eight seasons of The Simpsons for how well written it is, because it's mm. really, really, really well written. Because mm. it has the perfect, it, literally, the animation director, the animation directors are so good. Because one of the animation directors is fucking Brad Bird, who made The Incredibles. <laughs> I can't he's, believe that. He's literally the animation director for some of the best Simpsons episodes. They have they have literally some of the coolest writers. One of the main writers for The Simpsons was the inspiration for Ron Swanson in Parks and Recreation. The main the writer of Parks and Recreation worked with him on a project and went like, "You're a character in a show if I ever get a chance, man." This guy is so a legend, uh, Schwarzwelder. He's a liberal who loves his guns. <laughs> and he always liked to chain smoke. So once they banned smoking uh, from inside restaurants, he used to always mm-hmm. like write at this diner on a typewriter in his own corner, uh-huh. writing his scripts, and he chain smoked, and the place got shut down. So he bought the entire restaurant <laughs> and just writes there by himself and has people bring him food. Wow. Le- fucking, le- fucking legend. Fucking legend. Legend. Ins- that's amazing. Ins- he's insane, though. He's like crazy. And that's like, yeah, yeah. That's some of the best episodes are written by him, though. Uh-oh. Jay Bucket 28, almost 20 months. Yeah. Yeah. Whoopee. I'm just happy. We're not later asked a question. So now that Miss Lala has fixed her audio issues, will she now be taking over the world with her laughter? Will she be hiring minions to give her rubs and foot massages, though? That got specific. <laughs> would you want people to give you foot massages or would you want the minions to give you foot massages? Mm, I would want people and I really want them to get in there with my athlete's foot. Oh no, you have a medical condition. <laughs> go, ahead, oh, no. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you're strong enough, are you strong enough? Are you strong enough? Are well, you strong? Of course your feet hurt. You're on your feet all the time. Pouring coffee <laughs> at your diner. Yeah. A coffee, coffee. Coffee. coffee at my I'm, diner. I'm drinking coffee right now at nine nine forty at night. 
I, I, you know, but here's the thing. You're, no, you're neuro ah. spicy. You're neuro spicy as well. Coffee uh, sometimes, like I sometimes oh will no. drink coffee at I, night and it doesn't bother me. Like it doesn't mm, get me like, I, 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 I kind of always have issues sleeping. Even if I drink coffee late into the day, mm. it doesn't really matter what time I drink coffee at. I will say this. You say I'm neuro spicy. It's beyond that. It's 1993. And they just realized that there's an epidemic of kids who are energetic but not really interested in certain subjects, it's a plague upon teachers who suck at their fucking jobs. <laughs> so what do they do? I get, I go to a, they're like, so they're like, they, I get sent to a special doctor and he's like, holy shit, this kid's got ADHD like crazy. That's right, everybody. I was patient zero for ADHD. <laughs> I jokingly say that pretty much I was in my grade one class uh-huh. and then two, 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 men in, two, men in, two men in black came in and they're like, oh, there he is right here. Give him meth. And they just put the meth in my mouth to calm me down. <laughs> and I joke about the meth thing, but when I actually went to a psychiatrist, and he looked at my medical history. He's like, huh. He said this. Oh, wow, they gave you medieval meth. Oh, my God. And I went, and I was like, um, did you just use medieval as an adjective? <laughs> Excuse me? About medicine I took as a child? <laughs> what what has that done long term? And he just looked at me. Probably not 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 probably not good things. And I'm like, oh, fantastic! I was just really excited all the time. <laughs> but then on like certain subjects, couldn't give a fuck. Because <laughs> that's not the like evil, man. neurodivergent people are just hyper good at shit they're interested in and shitty at stuff that they're not that great in. Where most people mm. are just kind of okay at everything. Yeah. But we're like, if we're really into it, oh, we get really into it, become experts in it, and then we mm-hmm. just we, we get hard thinking about it. We just can't get enough of it. If we don't like it, it literally causes physical pain. Mm-hmm. And a- like people are like, what do you mean? Like sitting in a class about a subject we don't like, literally, we would rather like fail the class than try because it physically hurts. It physically hurts. It's so bad. It is. And it's like, everyone's like, oh, you're just being dramatic. No, it's like it manifests as an actual like, ah. Ugh, it's almost like there's this, there's this pain in your head because you just can't give a shit about something you're not interested in. I can't believe that you're so gifted that you love engaging in all these discussions, but why won't you just apply yourself? Why won't you just... I'm ADHD, oh, you- not autistic. That's why I can't be good at math class. Keep giving me shit. <laughs> Who wants some drinks? <laughs> <laughs> wow wow we really got the first glimpse at the official taka lore that's amazing right here at what's the your hyper focus right now taka Friday? i want some glizzies in my mouth <laughs> <laughs> i want the glizzies i want the glizzies please please <laughs> just like that uh, so many people are super. I, 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 oh, your Asperger's monkey D landed. I don't even know if Asperger's is a thing anymore. I think they actually, when they switched to the Spectrum system, I think they got rid of Asperger's. Mm, they, it's, I think because like some turns out there's like you know there's ADHD because there's the three realms. There's ADHD, autistic, and OCD. The most underused one. A lot of people are OCD with weird obsessive compulsive behaviors. Mm-hmm. Uh, my pa- yeah. Because go on, Maxi I will hyper focus on what I damn well please. I will have no say in what that is. <laughs> yeah, see, so yeah, it's just high function ASD now. Exactly. So essentially, uh, to my knowledge, Asperger. Yeah, they dropped the Asperger name because the guy, Asper, the actual name Asperger was a Nazi scientist. So they're like, ooh, bad branding, bad branding. Ah, yeah, 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 yikes. <laughs> what? Yeah, they, they, just, they dropped it. So they dropped, they rolled it into, the, and the, the problem is there's like a lot of people who had Asperger's were just like, are you telling me autistic now? I'm like, yeah, it's, yeah. now you know autistics was just, the, uh, was a slur for a while. So it's not exactly been the best rebranding. Yikes. Yeah, it's, but that's why, like, I think Asperger's is more, I think it's more autism and OCD. I think that's actually technically what it is. Because ADD is technically autism and ADHD. It's like, that's why the switch to the, switch to the spectrum system was just a million times fucking easier. Because some people don't fit into one category. They're kind of like in the middle of two, essentially. There you go. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. See, now ever now we are on the newer spicy menu. 
Oh, okay. You see, now now you're speaking my language. Now we're going mm. back to the food metaphors, just talking menu. Oh, thank yeah, you exactly, for translating. Exactly. Thank you, thank you. I was a little uh, I'm but happy I'm they here. switched to the spectrum yeah. system because it's 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 a it takes a little bit to understand. But then you're like, oh, this makes way more fucking sense now because not everyone mm. can just be like, oh yeah. Some people are pure ADHD. Some people are they're not fully ADHD. They have some of the symptoms, but some of the symptoms of something else are counterbalancing the symptoms of something else. I am clearly comorbidity, which is what it's called actually called, yeah, which yeah. is a fucking brutal name. That's right. I am comorbidity. <laughs> I'm clearly something else. I don't know what it is, but all I know is ADHD is clearly the top. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So really when it comes to, if you have like one of two things, one of the illnesses is topping the other. And the other one is a power bottom. <laughs> Once again, I told you, I, I, I'm just so amazed that at nearly at every 20 minute interval, I am learning something new. Like education is so incredible. I can't mm. believe I came for the drinks and I stayed for for the knowledge. You know what drinks? I'm saying? <laughs> okay. <laughs> drinks? Okay. <laughs> I fucking love doing that. Drinks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now we can hear your laughter it's so great now because <laughs> like now what i want to do when you're free is i want to watch i want to watch kung pao into the fist with you <laughs> just so you can lose your shit and you'd be like this is happening this is a real movie <laughs> I, I i i can't believe i didn't I thought you were. I thought you were talking about. I thought you were making up a title of a movie. To be fair, I was like Kung Pao into the Kung Pao. It gets confused for Kung Fu Hustle. Because okay, I've seen Kung Fu Hustle, and I That's love Kung movie. Fu Hustle. Con I you will love love you. Kung, Kung Fu Hustle. Hustle is a really smart movie, and one of my favorite mm -hmm. cinematic scenes. Because if I had to, if I had to do like a list of top one hundred scenes. One of my favorite cinematic scenes is that, and that's where they're pouring the gas on the the mother and daughter essentially. And he throws and he throws the lighter, and all of a sudden, just that bag boy just grabs it and goes like, "No!" He's like, that, "That's that's it. The line's being crossed, and he's going to reveal himself." And then all the regular people who work there start fighting the bad guys and reveal that they're all secretly martial artists. Yeah, it's one of the coolest fucking scenes in a martial arts movie I've ever seen because it's just so satisfying to watch those three guys mm -hmm. just start kicking ass. Mm hmm. I I love what is it the landlady who she like she has her cigarette ah, she like she was so she like sucks up the cigarette and then you scream ah, yeah so cool she's the awesome. scene where she appears in the backseat with the bad guy and says nothing but just does physical movements yeah. Yeah. pointing them mm -mm. yeah if you it thumbs at me and then just does the knuckle crunch instead I'm like oh my god it's like I don't even need because I actually watched it without a subtitle first and I knew the story immediately. Because because it was so physical, like it, they were telling a visual story at the same time, and if a really good storyteller can just be understood in all languages, yeah, yeah, I love that movie. It's a great movie. I love I I love like uh, amazing like martial arts movie. It Man, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, oh, good, like good, good. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. le, 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 because the fight. What was it? There's this other one that it was with. Um, it was a Muay Thai focused movie. Oh, um, it, uh, I know the one you're talking about. Uh, Ong Bak. Yeah, Ong Bak. Oh, so sick. Oh, now you've seen so the raid. Sick. You've seen you've seen the raid, right? The raid? No, I haven't seen the raid. Oh, we're watching that. <laughs> That's the best part. Seen... No, I'm telling you right now. Really? After all these movies you're talking about, you know what's better than all of them? What? The raid. Really? It is the greatest martial arts movie of all time. Really? I don't yes. know. I, I love yes. Grand, I feel like Grandmaster is pretty good, but that's because I'm a sucker for a love story. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. For yeah. those who've seen The Raid, am I fucking bullshitting you or is it the best fucking martial arts movie of all time? Great good movie. Come on. Fucking sick. It is okay. It okay. is. It, it, you know, yeah, it's yeah. pretty fucking. It, it, don't watch it without me. I like. If you've never seen it, folks, do yourself a favor because it's actually a Thailand movie. I think it's I think it's Thailand, right? Hey, the raid. I'm just writing this down. So I top top it. five martial arts movies of all time, in my opinion. I per it's personally my favorite one because I like the narrative because it's very simple. Mm -hmm. Indonesia. It's an in, in Indonesia. Thank you. Oh. Uh, Karate Bears. Thank you so much for the seven months. <gasps> Speaking of martial arts. Yeah, let's let's go, Karate Bears. 
Legend of Drunken Master is top tier as well. Legend of Drunken Master is top five martial arts movies of all time. Jackie Chan's best martial arts movie, as far as I'm concerned. I don't think I've seen, actually, uh, Legend of Drunken Master either. You haven't seen it? Well, there's two versions. There's the American version, and there's the really fucked up original version. Nope, I haven't seen either of those. I think it's, the most I've is, seen of Jackie Chan is... is in, it is uh, Jackie Chan at his peak Jackie Chanist. I have to say, I feel kind of like... I can feel kind of like messed up saying this, but like I think I've only seen him in like Rush Hour and the Jack. <gasps> There's so many. He's in so many movies. I'm There's so, so many sorry. good martial arts movies. I'm sorry. I'm There's a whole series of movies where he's just in Australia filming movies back to back, and the bad guys he's fighting are like six foot ten, and they're like, Brr. and they're just they're like giant gorilla men he's fighting. Oh, I do love good fight sequences, like uh. Equilibrium had some dope ones. I mean, oh that's yeah, why I think, I think Equi that's Equilibrium why had really good martial arts fights in it. That's why. That's mm. why uh, everything, everywhere, all at once was super satisfying, huh? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super. The martial arts, well, because like, well, like literally, um, the main actor, like he was like, I think he was also a stunt coordinator too. Yeah, well, uh, he did. He's like, he actually, well, that's what he did for like most of his career was he was like a stunt guy, and he was like the martial arts fighting choreography guy. Oh. Uh. That's why him getting the big acting nod in that. Man, I fucking cried. Really? I thought Oh, I cried. I I cried and like when he when he said, you know, I get like when when she was like looking at the universe where she is like a, an actress uh -huh. and she meets him again, he's like a successful businessman and he's just all this regret because he misses her and he loved her. He's yeah. like in another in another universe, I would have been perfectly happy just cleaning laundry with you and paying taxes. Yeah. And I remember when I watched that, I wept. I openly wept mm -hmm. like a bitch. I had mm -hmm. to pause the movie and everything and cry. I had to cry. I'm happy he won the he that scene alone he won the Academy Award. And like, yeah, damn right he did, because I that fucking scene made me weep. Fucking I love that fucking movie. God damn. I wanna so I, I, see, I want my parents to watch it, but I'm afraid my dad will punch me. <laughs> Why? Because you it's feel really introspective. It's really introspective, and it's about generational trauma and about denying yes. your feelings and shit. And like that's gonna uh, bug my parents. Ah, uh, okay, okay, I see why. Even I though my parents love Jamie Lee Curtis, and that cool yeah. thing about that movie, she got essentially to be Jason. So she got to be she got to be Michael Myers. When she's like when she's like hunting them, she's yeah. she's literally Michael Myers. That's she even so said she like channeled being Michael Myers essentially for that scene where she's hunting them. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Ki Hu Kwan. I always forget it. I'm always bad with his name because it's like it's hard for me to remember. I I love um mm. yeah, mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. so good. Mm -hmm. It was so that movie is so good. My mom is so funny. When she comes to movies like that, she was like, Oh, it was a very good movie. It was a little confusing. They had all the time travel kind of stuff. In the same way, you got to understand, my mom, she has a very interesting sense of taste of movies, right? Like Inception. You got to be which... like, for, for like my dad, I, for example, my dad, he, I got yeah. him, I, I waited for a movie and like the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. I'm like, that's for my dad. That's yeah, the okay. one I'm getting my dad. Yeah. My dad's like, oh my God, is that Reacher? Yes, dad. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, you just got to know, you got to play to your crowd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because, yeah, my mom was like, she was like, it was a good movie. Sometimes it was a little confusing. She saw Inception and she walked out and she's like, that made my brain hurt. That was too confusing. Yeah, Inception's a little bit, is a little bit weird. I love Inception. I thought See, it was the, so cool. It was a fun, it was a fun idea. It just took a bit. Yeah. Good I, ending. It, good ending. I yeah. love the ambiguous ending. But yeah. It was like a then if we're trying to watch Tenet. heist movie. <laughs> no one understands what Tenet was about. <laughs> I still haven't seen Tenet because I was just I was put off by all well, the reviews. So I was like, oh, well, it's his worst what? movie because it's his most it's it's where he needed someone to be like, dude, this is incomprehensible <laughs> to you. It makes sense. But to those yeah. who the viewers are not going to really get it. Yeah. And it, that's like what every single person says. I have not met a single person who has said I fully understand what Tenet was trying to achieve. Everyone's like, nah. and then they're in the camp of like, nah. well, the concept of apparently the concept of Tenet wasn't yeah. a bad idea. His execution was fucking weird, though. Yeah. And that's what kind of made it confusing for people. For us dummies. <laughs> for us dum-dums. Duh, what going on? I like it when people fight, though. <laughs> Duh, okay. which one is the hero and which one is the villain? <laughs> Go, hero. Okay, so wait. So what What would you say is... Uh, so you like... Okay, I'm going to... Are you... Do you like... What is a your least watched... 
genre of movie, but what is your favorite movie in that genre? That's a- oh my god, Liam. Mm. Uh- huh? Huh? How about that brain teaser? Huh? Oh fuck! How do you, okay? Ooh. So like, what is like the least watched of genres I watch? And what's my favorite in my least watched? Yeah. So like, let's say you're not a rom com person. What's your favorite rom com? Okay. Um. Oh man, rom com. See, a lot of things are rom coms, with technically not admitting it. Mm-hmm. Um. Like, I some would argue Wolverine and Deadpool may be a rom com. Oh, no, they actually they admitted that what they based it off of was actually planes, trains, and automobiles. Oh really? That's yeah, legitimate. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, that's yeah. amazing. I, I would say that um, you know, like the Obi One TV show is a rom com that didn't know it was a rom com. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. It's, okay, so that so, so that um, it's hard for me to answer because I don't know what my least watch like high like level like big drama movies like sad. I call yeah, them sadness yeah. porn. Listen, I love a good sadness porn, and I will. That's Absolutely. why I was happy that Ghost of Inner Sheen got boxed out by everything everywhere all at once. Because I'm like, no, yeah. fuck that shit. I don't want, I'm tired of period piece time. Did you know that event, at some point everything was sad and awful and we should all die? I'm like, no way. Really? Moving on. <laughs> like, fuck, I'm, 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 I'm watching movies to like alleviate my life, not add, add despair to it. No, I, I love a great cry. Uh, it was There Will Be Blood, Devin. I think. Ooh, okay. That's a great That made me though. depressed, but I loved yeah. it. Yeah, and I, a, I remember watching it going like, "Awesome! I'm never watching that again." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we got Nyanko Panko Tanko and Haku Nightmare and Bazin Droom Cry all raiding in. All three of you, guess what? Guess what? You crazy VTubers, guess what? I got drinks. You want drinks? I got drinks, baby. <laughs> He got drinks! I got drinks! drinks. Yeah, there we go. (laughs) Triple raid, triple raid. We're being triple raided. Welcome, everybody. (gasps) I'm Takahata 101. This is my bar. I serve the drinks! And I'm joined by the wonderful Miss Lala. Hi! And I got Super Sprinkles VT! What are you doing? Raiding in here as well. I also got drinks for you, Super Sprinkles! Get your drinks! And New Duck! Panu Duck! With five gifted shots to Skinny Hat, Git, T Dog, and the Chunkin' Friends, the Perception, and Gamaleo. My God, thank you so much for gifting those five subs. You know what? You get yourself some sip. You get you some sip. Get some sip. Get yourself some sip there, new doc. Get yourself some sip there, new doc. It's so funny. <laughs> and I want to thank you as well, everywhere, three. Everywhere, three the taco hada. You think, yeah, yeah, the taco hada. Look at this taco I got right here. Mm, taco. I always got floor tacos for you. Don't worry about it. Tacos. And I actually got to look up. I think, I think, uh, I think someone actually asked a question earlier, and I, I got to see if I can find it because they happened right. What was tenant about? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't answer that question. Scientists are still trying to figure it out. <laughs> Someone in the chat might be able to help you, but I can't. I have no idea. I have no idea. I didn't fucking watch it. I was just like, I'll watch Oppenheimer, the prequel to Godzilla. <laughs> if you think about it that way, it is. Sorry. Oppenheimer is a Godzilla prequel. Why is that hard? <laughs> what? Watch Oppenheimer than Godzilla minus zero. <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys are all caught up in cinematic universes. You can't make it your own. <laughs> Not the Oppenheimer being a sequel to Godzilla minus one. <laughs> Oppenheimer is a prequel to Godzilla minus one. <laughs> he's not alive, but he's not wrong. That I feel that so deeply right now. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why Oppenheimer's so sad at the end of the movie. Oh my god, I made a giant lizard. But it's not mine, and I couldn't name him. I couldn't name him T- Timmy. Go- Godzilla Timmy minus one made me. Godzilla minus one made me cry too. It was good shit. It was good stuff. If you haven't seen it yet, it's genuinely a great movie. Oh, it's on it's, Netflix. Yeah, it's a uh, it's it's a great World War Two movie that happens to be a Godzilla movie. Like that's yeah. the best way to put it. Yeah, yeah. No, it was exactly it's it. Amazing. It's a, it's, it's yeah. about it's about like it's it's was. Normally, I hate the human plots in a, in a monster movie. Not this one. Holy shit, they were engaging as fuck. We, like, time to deal with Godzilla. I'm like, all right, I guess. Like, I actually was like, because here's the thing. We have, the, the beautiful thing is, oh, Zeddy Dragon, thank you for the raid as well. But here's the thing. Let's be real here. They, I, I gotta be real with you. Yeah. 
I fucking love the new Godzilla, the MonsterVerse movies. Oh, yeah, yeah? I watched them all in a binge, and mm-hmm. I need you to know that the newest one, Godzilla, because they have Godzilla versus Kong, and then Godzilla X Kong, the new empire, mm-hmm. which is a stupid name, but that's fine. Literally, Godzilla X Kong, the new empire, you know what it is? It's mm. just Lethal Weapon. <laughs> eventually, all I can say, there's eventually like, damn it, Donkey Kong. Damn it, Godzilla. You're a loose cannon. Give me your badge and your gun. And get out of here. How about you get out of here, chief? <laughs> <laughs> damn it. Damn it, Donkey Kong. You're a crazy giant monster. You fought. You fought hard. Let's get you a robot hand. Get the robot that gives you a robot hand. And then they literally go to the robot that, that's right over there that gives a robot hand. I cannot reiterate how simple. Like, they just they had it ready to go. And I'm like, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Just keep, keep, keep giving it to me. Keep giving it to me here. <laughs> just, just get. Literally, there's a scene where they're like, <laughs> they function as a tag team and they do a tag team move together. I'm like, this is batshit crazy. <laughs> this is so stupid and I love it. Literally, they destroy Rio de Janeiro and like, and like, hooray, we saved the city. We saved the world. The villain is like evil Donkey Kong doing JoJo poses. <laughs> I cannot reiterate. It. He literally is like he's no like he's, he's literally at like a, a like warlord in another place where he's in like the in like Hollow Earth because there's Hollow Earth in this universe. Yeah. And he's like he shows up and he's got like a bandolier which is a giant spine of a snake and he has it wrapped around. He uses it as a weapon and has like a magic key and shit and he just keeps doing and he just keeps doing JoJo poses the whole fucking time. <laughs> He's like monkey Nandeo Jojo. Eh, eh, eh. He literally does he literally does anime laughs. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. he does like he literally like Godzilla, like literally like Donkey Kong steps up and he just goes, oh, this guy right here. Cause fifty percent of the movie features zero acting except for physical acting from King Kong and Godzilla. And what? Yeah, I yeah, need to see this movie. I, I oh oh no, you, you got to Here's the thing. You gotta watch all of them to understand the full thing. You got because like literally they do they do Godzilla and then they do uh, a prequel which is King Kong's movie, There's and then like they do Godzilla Mojo. King of Monsters which is the worst one, and then they do Godzilla versus Kong, where they where they where they where they have to like they they fight because they just have beef. Uh huh. And then they have the one where they're they're begrudging friends like literally like like odd couple cops. Right down to, like, gotta turn in your badge. You turn in your badge, chief. It's like, literally, Godzilla is like, he's Godzilla, Godzilla's a loose cannon. <laughs> he, sleeps in, he sleeps in the goddamn... He, he lives in Italy, by the way. Godzilla moves to Italy and sleeps Wait, in the what? Coliseum. What, That's does he his have net. a vacation home in Tuscany? Like, why no, is no, he, he literally Italy? sleeps in the Coliseum and always steps over it to make sure not to ruin it. Well, it's very courteous of he him. He just That's curls fine. into a ball and just goes to sleep inside it all the time. It's literally Goku and Vegeta. It's literally Goku and Vegeta. It's literally no That's all they've done. No way. Is they've done. I have to watch it. Wow. Once again, I, I came for education. I came yeah. for movie recommendations. Mm-hmm. Everyone chats just being like. Okay. I got a puppy on my lap right now who's just being extra. Oh, I heard. I heard. Don't forget the part where Godzilla cooked a giant crab because he was hungry. That's true. He did that. <laughs> no way. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So now at this point, I'm like, you know what we need? Aliens have to invade. I'm all on board with aliens invading. Damn it. Just when you thought Donkey Kong was out, they pull him back in. Sorry, not Donkey Kong. Uh, Kong. Because they can't call him King Kong. So they call him. He's like he's like he's like royal, he's like the royalist Kong. They keep saying everything but King Kong because that's owned by someone else technically. <laughs> I love it. I can't get enough of it. I, it's, it's absolute batshit n- nonsense. It's anime nonsense in the best way. So good. Wait. So okay. So that's a third movie. Great. Now I have a th- third, three movies. Oh yeah, so that well, no, you have to like watch like five movies to get to that point because you got to see them try to be serious before they just descend into fucking absolute bullshit. I can't watch like a watch Mo- mojo like five minute YouTube video. Like I need to fully experience each one of these. Yeah, movies you do. Today. You have to understand the I character development, especially because okay. well, I haven't even talked about Mothra. 
Rodan shows up. Mothra shows up. King Ghidorah. It's like literally the whole pantheon shows up. But is this a kaiju Avengers? Like you just yeah, like... that's literally what happened. Like it's literally my favorite thing was someone I saw a review. Is that really what we're going to be making? Just a bunch of monsters fighting each other, and everyone's like, "Yeah, that's what we fucking want." What the fuck did you think we wanted anything else? We got Godzilla, the Godzilla minus series for the serious drama of what it is, which yeah. is great. And then we have the stupid bullshit anime shit. <laughs> but but we need that. We need that. We need that. Mm-hmm. We want we when we want a monster movie. We want a monster movie. Exactly. Like, yeah, that's great. I there did see go. Alien Romulus last night. Speaking of other like, oh, you I saw it? How was it? I did it. Uh, I liked it. I liked it. Uh, there was like a couple of things that bumped me a little bit, like pulled me out. But overall, I really loved it. Practical effects, like ninety percent practical I, effects. I hear that was the dope. best thing with the set pieces and the practical effects were top notch. So so good, and yeah. you don't realize just like, like I'm I'm a huge huge fan of like practical effects, mm-hmm. but you don't realize how much you miss it until like you're like wow, it's been a very long time where I've seen a new movie with practical effects and they do it so well. It's so 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 great so highly recommend if you know i i want to watch it it's on my list actually of movies to watch once it switch once my theater switches over to it i'm going to go watch it because i genuinely want to see it oh shit north country man you didn't i, I missed your question i'm so sorry shit question. I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to find it wait hold on they actually did wait hold on hold on sorry we got taken away here we're leader did north country man not ask a question Got yeah, very that distracted checks. by Jojo posing donkey, uh, d- not Donkey Kongs, <laughs> just giant. No, Kongs. They, yeah, we were. I, I don't think they asked a question. Ask your question though. Some people had a couple of issues with it. I think it was script stuff. Yes, definitely. That's where my issues are with it. That's just an issue with Hollywood and TV in general right now. Is a lot of yeah. like scripts suck, and yeah. I don't know why. And I, it's an epidemic. A lot of people have talked about it. It's because a lot of um. And this is a big thing here. Watch me talk shit. But um, like like uh, people talk about nepotism in Hollywood all the fucking time. If any industry will have nepotism, it's just the way it yeah. fucking is. But there's a lot of like, um, people who've gotten into the script room through nepotism, and they fucking suck. <laughs> they're not. They're, they're, they have like a great idea, a great plot, and but their dialogue is dog shit. That's just it. Like, the way they're explaining the story or, like, it's just, it lacks a certain amount of, like, that's why when, like, a movie has a good script, it's, like, just fucking makes tons of fucking money because mm. that's how bad they miss it sometimes. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's especially evident in the era of streaming. There's a lot of shows that, like, some shows just have good writing. Some shows have absolute, you're like, what the fuck is this dialogue? It sounds like someone's never talked to another person. Like, yeah, yeah they haven't. And they got this job because their daddy's a producer in another show and their daddy got them a job. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like they, uh, like it, you know that South Park episode, the member berries episode. It had a lot of member berries in it. You know, it'd be like, remember Rebox? Remember, remember that? We love Remax. We love remember Rebox. that? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh god. And I'm really inspired like, by this movie, which is I like full blown copied it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but overall, I do recommend it. I thought it was Ooh, a fun ride. Yeah, yeah. I remember. <laughs> I I mean, I'm just happy there's like everyone's like finally an alien movie that's not quite as bad as Alien Covenant. I'm like, man, everyone really get it's Prometheus and Covenant are really polarizing to people. I okay, fully transparent. I have not seen an alien movie besides the first one with Sigourney Weaver. I've not okay. seen any of the other ones. So I have Aliens is look. good. Aliens is great. Okay, it's it. James Cameron's magnum opus. Yeah, I hear it's good. I hear mm. it's very good. Well, it's yeah. also infamously very fa- inf- a lot of infamous drama on the set too. But uh, Ooh. oh yeah, 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 yeah. But it's oh, you like know, I love I love the movie gossip. We love the movie gossip. But no, Cam- C- C- shocker! James Cameron's a good filmmaker. I I, I can't believe- what? Can't no, believe it. The man who his made name Titanic, is James James Cameron, cold? the bravest pioneer. No budget too steep. No. <laughs> <laughs> That family guy, that, 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 sorry, that, that South Park bit is so funny. Don't, James Cameron uh, does what James Cameron does because he's James Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> A chaotic indignation. Thank you so much for the 35 months. Appreciate you. Yippee. Uh, I think I saw a North Country man ask their question. Oh, they did? What was the, oh my God, where, 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 where are you at? Shit, where is it? Fuck. 
I was going to ask if you if if Kong was Donkey Kong and then then laugh at you. <laughs> thought, thought Don was Donkey Kong. No, I accidentally said Donkey Kong because I ended up because I, I spent an entire month, like three months, Donkey watching Kong. <laughs> Donkey Kong streams. So like it's embedded in my brain when I hear Kong. I think of Donkey Kong, or Bluster <laughs> Kong, or Funky Kong, or Diddy Kong. At Eternal El Elasmosaur, thank you so much. And we, I actually got you here for a little bit more here because you said you had two and a half, and we're we're, yeah. getting, we're, 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 we're coming in on this now. I want to ask you a quick question. What it you sucks. Got going I always, on? I love hanging out with you. It's always, it's always a blast. Time flies yeah. when I'm chatting with you. Time yeah. does fly when I'm, <laughs> when I'm chatting with you. So, I'm, I'm curious. What do you got going on? What I got going on? Um, uh, what do I have going on? Uh, I don't I just, know. I, I don't know. Either. I have no idea. I know what I have going on. Drinks, but none. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> drinks. <laughs> uh, I'm drinks. Uh, drinks. Drinks. <laughs> everybody, <laughs> buy the drinks. Five dollar a drink. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I realize every time, every time I move, I realize I have to accidentally blocking a bottle. I'm so sorry. I just <laughs> So I'm sorry. That's okay. It's okay. Every now and then you just drink. But no. <laughs> it's like a. It, it, I just love. You're just like this fairy godmother of just alcohol. You know that's what bar <laughs> bartenders are apparently at the. Rear oh, zombie Matt with five gifted drinks for the everybody. <laughs> gifting a sub to giving a shot to Kanayaru, Scotia N M Ralida J R Leet twenty two two o one. Two one and do one oh one three zombie Matt. Thank you so much. And you know what? You know what? You get the big nut. This is your zombie Matt. You get your big <laughs> nut. Have yourself a sip. It's your nut. It's your nut and rum. <laughs> nut mm. and rum. <laughs> zombie Matt. Thank you so much. There we go. What's that? Ah. I don't know what's going on. I think I'm just going back to basics a little bit. I think I'm just doing my streams Monday, Wednesday, nah. Fridays, and then that's well, after it. A, after like a big thing that you did, it's like so mm. stressful running a big event like you did. Like it actually mm. takes like weeks of prep time while you're doing mainline streams at the same time. So you have to like section off time for that. After you're done, you're like, all right, now I need a little bit. Yeah, I think I, I had I had five deadlines that collided at the same time. Oh no. So, it was it was I had uh I had the charity stream. I had mm -hmm. uh summer assets and partnerversary. Um but then I had a, I had a I, like IRL uh I had IRL work. I had a commission that I was helping with a sewing oh, commission. I had a photo shoot I was styling. Oh my and god. Then, and so like I had all these like real life things all colliding at once as well as all these things within like VTubing. Yeah. And so I was like it July was a complete madhouse and I had traveled for my cousin's wedding and stuff like that. So Oh I was, my like, god, you had a wedding to go to as well yes! in the middle of that. Oh my so, god. So I was like August, I am going back to basics. I'm streaming, trying out some new content but just kind of focusing on streams and stuff and I think that'll be When's your next one? Yeah. My next event? I don't mm. know. I was thinking maybe something for the holidays, but uh, what holidays maybe, coming up? Oh, I mean, you got Labor Halloween. Day. <laughs> Labor Day does. <laughs> Everybody wear white. Um, I uh, probably a Halloween thing. Besides, oh. My, oh, my birthday's coming up in September. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, birthday so stream. All right, that's the next birthday one. Your birthday. There you go. That's your birthday. birthday. Stream. There you go. Birthday. birthday. So you get to do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm. I can't. Yeah, um, I I think my first order of activity is to drag my butt on the ground like a dog on all my friend streams and that just to claim them as for my birthday gift to myself, just because that means friendship, right? What? What? What did you? What I'm did giving you zombie Matt his nut, but like, but for real though, what? What? Wait, what? <laughs> what? I'm what? holding on to my nut cup right now. I'm worried. Wait, wait. For, for what reason? What did, I said I was going to have a nice time with my friends. I was just maybe going like, to... Like like it, like, it, like, it was like dragging your ass on the floor thing. That was a bit... Wait, of, I, I did not say that, Taka. What are you... Oh, my God. Taka's gaslighting me I, on the Riri 101 I, in front of all these people. I, I can't believe it. I, 
Uh, okay, maybe I am wrong. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> I know she's full of it. But anyways, uh, Mr. Frick! Yippee! Mr. Frick gifting five gifted shots, hair to the bar, Kane the Sloth, Iravith, Garbage Gamer, Funkle, 1789, and Mr. Van Theos, 07. You all owe Mr. Frick a big thank you. Mr. Frick, I'm going to give you a drink. <laughs> a drink. Whatever you need. You got it, baby. I got you blue. Where's my blue? There's my blue. I got blue. <laughs> I'm just going to keep adding drinks onto my arms here, you know? <laughs> well, Taka, you're a bartender. You'd make a great waiter, too. Thank you. I make people wait all the time, so it makes sense. <laughs> That's not very courteous to the ladies you're with, Taka. Come on. Hey. <laughs> hey. I'm a classy bitch. <laughs> Making them wait is part of what I do. Now. <laughs> Dude, now. <laughs> Mr. Frick, okay? Taka, you better bust me some nuts. All right, get your nut here. You want me, you want, you want, I'll get yourself some sip here. Get a sip from my nut and rum. I am the general grievous of drinks. Ah! Ah! Miss Lala! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say hello there. <laughs> hello there. <laughs> oh, Mr. Snalla. <laughs> Another drink to add to my collection. <laughs> oh, there goes a Tupperware party. <laughs> Look, my no hands. <laughs> Thank you so much, though, for the five gifted shots, Mr. Frick12. Uh, as for me, I have no plans for my next stream. I'm going to try and beat uh, South Park because I've been playing Ooh. maximum difficulty Canadian run of South Park, uh, The Stick of Truth. Is that extra uh, extra poutine? Well, extra no, it's like bitch? extra hard. So, like, pretty much if you, you, oh. if you miss one block, you die. <laughs> Oh, I didn't realize that was an actual setting in the game. I thought you were just saying extra hard Canadian style. I was like, oh, so Tim. No, I'm playing it as routine. a Canadian, so I'm doing the Canadian South Park bit. How's it going, there, friend? <laughs> Have a good time here, of course. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and next time I, we get back to it, I got to go to Canada in the game. I got to go Ooh, home. Got to go home. Mm -hmm. After all that time. And I get to talk about Canadian history, the very true Canadian history. Just like the Pope of Albert, we actually have the Bishop of Alberta and shit like that. So it's really classic history. The Prince of Canada. The Prince and Princess of Canada, of course, as is tradition. We excellent excellent for Canada for a reason. Hey, don't be a rat, buddy. So your true Canadian form, I can't do that. I won't be able to hold all of my drinks. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Doing the Canadian bit voice with this model is just everything. <laughs> How's it going, there, friend? Having a good time there? <laughs> For real, though, man. Right, don't be a rat, buddy. You're a rat if you do that, okay? I'm not your friend, guy. I'm not your guy, buddy. I'm not your buddy, friend. Hey, not your friend, buddy. I'm not your buddy, guy. Hey, not your guy, friend. We're not your friend, buddy. Yeah, not my friend. <laughs> that was Wait, the. Wait, you have a was... true Canadian form, Taka? I do, I do actually. Yeah, it's true. You can see it in the chat. <gasps> I, I can, I can. Yeah, I do. You may. You, I, <laughs> Like a punk yard dog. I am in love with the curls. Oh, punk yard dog. Oh punk yard dog, 37 months of support. What a wonderful person punk yard dog is. And I'm surprised you don't know about Miss Lala punk yard. She is so Ooh. up your ally. Allie? She's also an ally, but she's up I your alley. Trust me. I am. I am an ally and a part of the community. That's right. You hear that, furries? I'm both an ally and a lover of, of, of the furry people. So, what? You know. What? 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 Drinks! <laughs> Drinks! <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Don't you worry about don't you worry about anything, my fries. I'm just uh, I'm just a little guy hanging up out here. Uh -huh. 
I can reveal <laughs> my true home improvement bit, like you know, over, the <laughs> over the fence. <laughs> Talk. I love this avatar. I love it too. It's a lot of. It's my favorite. I. It's my. I, I love this chibs. And we can yeah. take the wonderful OGRB, who OGRB. made this all possible. Oh, she's the one who makes my emotes as well, and she's a little. She's a little angry uh, bun. Oh, I love that. No, you'd love I, her too, actually. I, I I do love this model quite a bit. It's so good. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Even 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 if I'm an unhinged, mm -hmm. I got a lot of baggage on my shoulders, if you will. You know, <laughs> I'm burdened with glorious porpoise. <laughs> but no, we've been going here for about two and a half hours here, so <laughs> I, I gotta I gotta say, um, I my next stream will probably be uh, maybe tomorrow. I haven't decided yet. We'll see what the day brings us here. But this has been absolutely awesome here because <laughs> I got a lot of people want to thank here. I want to thank. Good to go, Maximo. I want to thank Drinking Buddy. I want to thank Jury66. I want to thank so many people here. I want to thank, oh my God. And we also want to thank people who are just, like, just dropping some bits here as well. Got to JL Pale. Thank you so much. Seriously, Miss Lala was Mega Manning this afternoon. You were Mega Manning? I was. It was Super a fine control. robot. I was I saw robot uh uh and doing crowd control, which was uh both a pleasure and uh entirely painful. You know, I just see. The way I, like I it. see. Yeah. So. Is that where they? Is, is that where the chat controls what happens? Yep, sure does. Also, want to thank Mr. Frick Twelve Zombie Matt. Thank you guys so much for gifting these shots to everybody here at the bar. Oh my it's god, greatly appreciated. We got Liddy. We got Liddy up at the Riri. L and all I got was Liddy? a stupid t-shirt. I need that as a t-shirt now. I got Liddy at the Riri, and all I got was a t-shirt. I got, I got, <laughs> I got, I got a staff infection, and all I got was this t-shirt. Well, bug. <laughs> better than a coworker infection. Listen, this has been a this is this has been a slow. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Bit my bar <laughs> has been all right because of the implication. Um, <laughs> No, the implication of that, like, what are you not getting? <laughs> what are you not getting? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> Sounds like you're gonna. Are you going to hurt these dangerous. people? No, they're not in danger. They're not in danger. Why would I hurt these people? They, they won't. I won't have to hurt them because of, because they won't they won't worry because of the implication. Yeah. <laughs> Keep saying that thing. The implication. What do you mean by that? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna watch Always Sunny tonight. While I while I while I while I. Oh, it's Sunday. such. It's a show that you can just rewatch endlessly because because <laughs> they always talk over each other. There's always yeah. something new. So good. It's so funny, and the behind the scenes is. I mean, the like bloopers are so good. Oh my! I don't know how they keep it together. I it's don't. just like some of the most unhinged shit I've ever heard in a show. <laughs> For real. I, I, that would be a show like being a like a crew member in comedy. Like I I would just. I'd have to like hold my mouth shut so much because I I mean you see how much I laugh I can't help it Oh my I'd, god I'd be I'd be splitting my sides all the time There's a if you've seen there's a new episode where D is talking about talking about how like how to keep a guy and she's like well I did a no trick I'm holding on to his phone because guess what last night your girl got her guts pumped <laughs> <laughs> and and literally all the guys are like oh uh, is trying not to vomit when she <laughs> says it. <laughs> Your girl got her guts pumped. It's the way she guts. guts. It's so disgusting. It's so. I'm gonna like... use that from now on. I feel like. Ah, oh my God! Why would you do this to us? Why? I would no. I won't do it to you. I'll do it to my mother. The next time I talk to my mother, oh, I'll be my like, God. "How was last night?" Be like, "Oh, it's good." Uh, you your know, girl got movies, her guts. Your and girl I got, got her... my, <laughs> I got my guts pumped by your son-in-law. Uh, so proud of me. Oh man! Oh, that's you're gonna find out how. <laughs> I'm gonna get quite the reaction from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I've definitely, oh. you know, I'm the child that makes my siblings look good. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> are you are, are you the one they talk about last when they bring up their kids? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh yes, we love this, and oh yeah, and then this one, and then you know, <laughs> Lala oh, has such, you know, she's such a special girl. <laughs> Well, I I'm gonna straight everybody into another special girl. Oh my God, yeah. Alexi uh, Alexia Moy Voss. We're just about to raid into somebody else. So thank you so much because you're gonna be added to the raid for the next raid, raidception, if you will. And um, thank you so much for swinging on by here. And I'm sorry that I can't provide you any drinks, but um, <laughs> all the same, it's appreciated. 
<laughs> All right, I'm going to write everyone into bow sheep. Bow sheep! Yeah, but Dive into a bit I got to do all the time, which is drinks! Drinks! Mm -hmm. Drinks! But thank, I want to thank the wonderful Miss Lala for joining me here tonight. And thank you, everybody, for coming to the Weary 101 at Friday night at the Weary 101. And now we're going to read into the bowest of bow sheep. Thank you so much for the follows. Thank you so much for all the love tonight. And I will be seeing you uh, tomorrow, probably. Mm -hmm. Bye! Bye, everybody.